Ladies and gentle humanoidal creatures, welcome back to our D&D campaign, Heroes of Solan. We are gathered here today to play some Dungeons and Dragons. I am right now also checking my Twitch to make sure everything is okay. What the heck is going on? Why isn't the player loading? I'm over here doing an intro for some. Uh, yeah, it's not. What the hell is going on? What do you mean, network error? Oh, gosh. Wait, you're see? Oh, yeah, there you go. I have to refresh. It was giving me a network error for whatever reasons. But I am here, so everything is good. Good, 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 good. So last we left off. The party was in the in the midst of investigations. In uh, they have a um, informant, Marin, who uh, has also informed them that they could uh, pull some strings to give them a seat on the councilate, which is definitely imperative for the uh, the um, ongoings going about and their investigations. Uh, upon investigating the southern edge of town, where it's sort of like a small kind of mushroom path, mushroom forest-ish sort of deal, it's more rural area of town, they ran into what seems to be cultists and a mind flayer. They were dealt with promptly, but Anubis has also found a way to separate the soul of a man from his body. The fanatic is still present in ghost form. And with this now having been said, I leave everything to you guys as you have the ghost of the fanatic still staring at you, uh, shocked at the events that had just went down, uh, seeing that you had basically intimidated his uh, master, if you will, to just bamf away. Perhaps interrogations are in store. I guess we'll start with the man himself. Chosen one! Anubis. What do you do in this situation, my good sir? <coughs> what are your intentions? The spirit looks over to you. It kind of has this sort of puzzled look. And uh, it begins to answer, regulate. Simply regulate. Regulate what? It almost smirks at you. Sort of like it's about to start laughing like you don't know. The status quo of all things has slipped into chaos. It is up to us to make sure that everything is back to normal. Regulate. That is our directive. You, usurper, are interferer. I can make sure your body doesn't go back, in, your soul doesn't go back into that body. It then has a puzzled look at first, like it's wondering what to say before responding. If my body has served its purpose for my master, then so be it. Uh, Sam looks over uh, to Noob and, and uh, suggests that we ask him if... Um, uh, Maybe we can, uh, he can tell us where more of them are, you know? Where, where's their home base? Uh -huh. Sure, but where's your home base? Hmm. Everywhere, but nowhere. Okay, okay. we need more information more than that. Convincing. I transform into my people. Okay. The spirit is puzzled, yet intrigued. 
you can tell by the look on its face it's like it's got this oh kind of thing looking like uh, that could that's a thing <laughs> <laughs> okay how about we do a little uh quid pro quo i help you you help me where's your base huh the spirit then responds this time more direct I fail to see how this would be helpful if you intend to disregard my corporeal form. The temptations of the flesh, as you can see, have no longer been afforded to me. It can also draw you back into your body. Hmm. So, if you do this, if you do this, perhaps, then I'll be more persuasive. As a spirit, I'm simply looking to pass to the great beyond. Would not my I would not mind that whatsoever. But you are quite pleasing to the senses in this form <laughs> something a corporeal form would very much enjoy it's basically laid out you bring me back my body I got you we'll talk in layman's terms <laughs> can we search his body first uh, if you'd like to can I do an investigation on his body yeah go right ahead my good sir Silas, what happened to your camp? <laughs> There's my beautiful horned man. Without horns. <laughs> oh, the uh, the chart changed. The chart? Yeah, chart's a little different now. Uh, investigation. Yeah, I told oh. you it uh, it's been switched to um tidies sheets. Oh, interesting. Um, uh, it's, it's, uh, we use swears by them, and honestly, I like the format, it looks a lot better and more organized. We, and yeah, we, like to... we just, we couldn't use it before because, um, the update had broken the sheets, so we had to wait for the person that did the module to update the module. That's what happened here. Okay. Yeah, I can't like... see that for some reason, I can't see that. I might, uh, I might grab this module, I like it a lot. Uh, the investigation is 26. Excellent. Upon that investigation check, you find on the person a uh, an insignia. It's a um, a uh, amethyst and uh, golden insignia, um, depicting that of a uh, an octopus head. Okay. Um, you find about like I would say roughly three hundred gold. Um, oh. that's in assorted jewels and, and knickknacks, um, as well as coin, and uh, you also find. What seems to be a scroll, some sort of manuscript, or maybe even, it might even be a spell, who knows, but it's written in a language. What languages do you know, if you could remind me, I'm sorry. Uh, I know Undercommon, Deep Speech, uh, Elvish, okay. uh, Half -elf, Elvish, um, Abyssal, Deep's Camp, it's not really a language. Fork. Hmm. Yeah. You do notice some components of it are written in Abyssal. Mm. So you would actually be privy to know at least what it says in that. Um, care to join me in the <laughs> other chat for a sec? Uh, we have whispers. Whispers. Whispers in the night. I didn't expect you to get a good search that fast. So yeah, I'll meet you in the other chat real quick. <laughs> So what you were able to find within uh, this situation, um, reading this note, it's uh, telling of uh, soul transference spells. It's basically um, a way that the, it seems to be a way that the mind flayers have been um, allowing themselves to like skip through time in a way. 
Okay. They'll take a sliver of their soul and lock it in an artifact and then place it into a new body later. And it kind of depicts that, but because some of it is also a language that you don't understand, you're getting pieces of it. But that's the main thing that you do get. And uh, it seems as though that there's... Uh, you see in Abyssal the mess... The, um, the, uh, it keeps mentioning the word time. 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 And then one that is definitely on the bottom to achieve time dilation. Okay. So time dilation and body transference? Mm-hmm. Huh. Okay. Right. Okay. Um, I'll try to communicate that as best as I can to the group. Okay, we do. Yeah. Fun, uh, fun, fun. Meet you back there. Yeah. Um, Unless there's anything else you want to in private cover. Um, I don't know. There's there's a part of like these like side chats where it's difficult to explain what you're trying to explain to me to the group sometimes. So like. Yes. You know what I mean. So there's like times where these like side chats are a little like counterproductive to like when it comes to expressing what's going on in the story to the group. That's so, by design. <laughs> yeah. So it's, I'm like, all right. It's part gonna... of the whole cryptic. Yeah, but all right, I'm, I'm fine with that. Because it's all, you know, you guys are detectives right now. You investigate and yeah. stuff and shit, you know? Okay, all right, so, you so got, let's try. So you got let more clues. To, so um, let me try to uh, fig figure that out. <laughs> okay, no problem. Yeah. All right, so uh, you ready to hop back in yeah. or? Yeah, yeah, I think that's that's enough, and I guess we'll like just chase the tail of this. Okay, no problem. I'll meet you there. Let me turn this back on. There we go. So, um, as I uh, am scrolling this um, okay. scroll here, trying to read this kind of language, some uh, some of the letters, writings are not really legible to me, but there's a kind of section where uh, I kind of zone in and things become quite clear and I, I lean toward uh, Anubis and I said, Anubis, uh, this, uh, this right here, this section seems clear to me. It's talking about some experiments in time dilation uh, and uh, so something about they're trying to do some kind of body transference train souls through time <laughs> honestly i don't know i can't make heads or tails and i, I hand the scroll to uh anubis okay the uh the note is written uh in celestial that that was the part that he was able to understand. Um, in abyssal, I, I'm sorry. Abyssal, yeah. In abyssal, and uh, it seems that uh, there's other components of a language that's unbeknownst to him. Um, what languages do you know? Um, let me figure out how to look that up on this. There it is. Oh, my I know it's is not cooperating. <laughs> Matrix is glitching. Mm -hmm. oh, hold on, so I need to. I'll be right, right back. I know Elvish. Okay. Celestial. Okay. Primordial. Primordial. Hmm. Okay. Common and deep skin. Uh, yeah. Uh, so it would still be even mystery to you, unfortunately, at this moment. No. -uh. No. -uh. <laughs> Wait. You have uh -oh. comprehend languages. No worries. Uh, wow, this is just not cooperating. Ryu, what the hell is going on with your camera? <laughs> That's me. That's me. No, it's, oh, man, I, yeah. no, it's Iroh, and he's like a floating head in the fucking tavern. Fucking oh, head. shit. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm the ghost. You guys are chilling with Yeah, he's yeah. the fucking ghost, bro. Okay. Tell us what we need to know. What are you saying? Nope. <laughs> I cast comprehend languages. Okay. 
No, a pan. A pan. A pan. Upon, uh, upon casting comprehend languages, uh, you then get the full context of what is uh, going on in it. Um, dang, Eddie, you made a good point. I might as well just do it here. <laughs> 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 you made a good point. I might as well just do it here. So. Uh, yeah, I've been. That's one of the things I've been to talk to you about, actually. <laughs> but uh, yeah. All right, so what you under what you end up uh, uncovering another thing with this is that uh, it basically details that the mind flayers have been running uh, these ceremonies in order to, um, in in order to basically skip through time without the use of a Chronos device, if you will. The, a Kronos device is something that would be used to actually stream through time. Instead, what they do is they lock a sliver of themselves within an artifact, a sliver of their soul, and then they and they implant that sliver into a body later on down the line. And they've been doing this in order to transcend the ages, okay? But they are in search for a Kronos device so that they can gain a better foothold of control over time as a spectrum in general. You recognize this as a, as a form of power that is extremely dangerous as, your, as a, your people have dealt with something similar before. And uh, according to the book that you had gotten, Way back in the library that detailed the history of uh, the Genasi's um, uh, uh, upbringing and how they uh, came to how they came to their current uh, empire, Th it was uh, it seemed to you that there was something that was always amiss within the last few chapters. It like something had been changed, and now knowing what you know now, that's how the king might have taken power. Exactly. That's kind of what's ruminating there. <laughs> I think I might. Uh, this is not good at all. Uh, yeah, I think uh, my people. Have, is there some odd things going on in a book of my people that I found? Remember that library we stopped at? Yeah. That was a huge tome, too. <laughs> and, uh... Well, you, you were on the other side of that library, so I'm not quite sure what you were looking at most of the time. I just I just remember you coming in with bags of books, man. Oh, yeah, I love my books. <laughs> Knowledge is everything. <laughs> um, but there are some foggy things, and what this says... It's just really not good. Yeah. It, 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 they're looking for a Kronos object to go and change time and to travel through it. Uh, time travel, believe, really? This is the reason why I'm at where I'm at! My mm -hmm. <laughs> life is fucked up because of one of these. We have to stop. So we need to know where they are. We need to figure out where their nest is cough, cough. This this is like link. Cough, cough. <laughs> the spirit the spirit looks uh if you guys are discussing this out loud the spirit is visibly shook obviously you found something you shouldn't have we have our leverage let's squeeze them oh i like those words <laughs> squeeze them <laughs> i think you guys need your intimidator then jenkins <laughs> <laughs> What can Jenkins do with a ghost who's in corporeal form? <laughs> can, you get, can we get creative here? Jenkins! Jenkins. <laughs> Jenkins. <laughs> threaten, this, threaten this spirit. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, want, you want me to bu bust his ass? <laughs> <laughs> Blow it up. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. Is this character still considered charmed? 
Mm. Oh. I did charm him before I gave him the potion. That is true. That's true. In the last one hour. Wouldn't that make him a bit more compliant? Jovial. Uh, yeah, it would. The, the question is, do you consider giving him that potion an attack? Because technically not. Hmm. Well, that's up to you. Because if you perform a hostile action towards it, don't, doesn't it, like, cancel the spell? Uh, wasn't there already, but I think he had already previously charmed else? him. I think he had already previously charmed him, though. I charmed him, and then I got him to drink the potion. That <laughs> shit! Yeah, it was something that you convinced him to do on his own. Okay. So he's still charmed. Fuck! So, uh, all this evasive bullshit that he's been doing can't even happen. <laughs> <laughs> it could he could have been playing hard to get. Well, yeah. Um, well, what, what I'm saying is he's uh, kind of like a spiritual person in a way. So if I push him out of his body, does he see it as a negative? That's better. Well, he did he, because he thought because he he. Attacked. He saw it as a negative slash positive because, like, you know how... Think of it like this, like an agent that doesn't want to talk takes a cyanide pill. Thing is, you can talk to the dead, so he's like, oh, crap. <laughs> I can speak with dead, I'm So, um, hmm, how do we want to... Let's see, I'll say... Yeah, I'll say that... I'll rule it that he's still charmed, which means he's just going to give you the information that you want. Therefore... Give me just two secs, because I got to check my notes just to make sure that I'm right. <laughs> What's your mother's maiden name? Is she okay? Does she know you're out here? <laughs> we'll fucking find her. <laughs> find that bitch. I'm gonna find her, and I'm gonna give her your my condolences. Yes, she's a very nice lady. <laughs> I bet she really cares about you. <laughs> he, uh... He turns to you like when you ask uh, where they're where uh, they're based, and the answer is quite surprising. Um, yep. He uh, responds with, "We are our base is buried deep within the confines of Dead Dragon's Gorge. We kept ourselves there because it is a deterrent to all travelers, oncomers." Nobody wants to deal with a dragon. They're smiling while saying this, and just smiling at Anubis, all happy, and just like. <laughs> I think we need a uh, our little dragonborn friend. Um, yeah. um, can I do an insight check on this? I know he's charmed, but. Yeah, go right ahead. Nope. Bye, sir. Oh jeez. <laughs> the matrix. Oh God, I'm watching. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm watching the Spice Channel. Hopefully I can get one boob. <laughs> oh, shit! That's old school! <laughs> oh, wow! I'm hoping, I'm hoping to get one boob. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. So you're oh, looking for a boob? I got you. Uh, I got you. I got you. <laughs> wow! Well. <laughs> oh, dirty okay. 20. Oh, dirty 20 on the Very uh, dirty insight 20. check. Uh, <laughs> with with your inside check, when you look, I'm at him, trying to discern if they actually have a dragon <laughs> or if he's just pulling out like here. I see. Uh, you get what you get from it is that like it's definitely they're using the name of Dead Dragon's Gorge more than anything else. <laughs> right. Uh, okay. You know what I'm saying? It's where yeah. they're at. But, you know, just the word dragon is already a deterrent. It, like, and you got that on the emphasis that they put on, you know, because people are afraid of dragons, so we chose dead dragon gorge for our base. <laughs> you know, kind of thing. <laughs> and you're like, hmm. So, yeah, you get the sense they don't, <sighs> have dragon. They don't got no dragon. <laughs> yeah. Just trying to make sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I uh, think we need a dragon friend. Right, he's over, uh, yeah, he, he, he's currently at Tower, though, so, uh, yeah. you guys would... Gotta make our way back to... I got a handle. You wanna, do you wanna take this guy with you, or you wanna just finish him? <laughs> I'm very much fighting with that answer right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna cut, start casually vacuuming in the background. <laughs> 
Ghostbusters theme song comes on. He, he then, <laughs> the spirit then turns around to you, Anubis, because he, he's charmed. He wants to be as helpful as possible. I can tell you the name of the commander of the base, if you'd like. I would love that. Thank you. Navid Trickleblood is the name of the captain. And as soon as you hear the name ring in your ear, Anubis, this rage starts to build inside you out of nowhere. You hear a voice in your mind. Trickle blood. The blood of Atayel is on his hands. And as that is whispered in your mind, the blade of vengeance appears in your hand. Bleeding. Uh, I grip it. Feed me. Gonna stab him twice. Ooh, oh. As you do. You should have been a ghost. <laughs> no, there's body. You as you, oh. like, as you stab the Blade of Vengeance into the body, you watch as the body starts to, in the uh, from the impacted uh, areas, start to have, like, you know how an Evil Dead, remember when they would get possessed that the fucking blackness would just be crawling all over the body? That's happening to this body, but then it's also disintegrating into ash as it just turns into ash in front of you. This is not the blood I seek. Trickle blood. He is the one. The torturer of Atayel. I'm assuming this is just in his head. Yes. You guys don't right. hear this. This is all happening to Anubis right now. Yeah, I'm like, I'm just seeing, I'm just watching him stab this body. Is he actually stabbing the body or is that, is, is that in his head as well? No, according to you guys, you saw this knife appear in his hand and he just stabbed right. this body twice. And like... uh, Anubis, uh, are you all right? You okay, Anubis? Uh... 21 damage. <laughs> yeah, it's dead, dead. Dude, the body disintegrated into ash, so this guy can't get back into his body now. And uh, it's also just dead, dead anyway. <laughs> I like, I look at Anubis. You know he can't fight back, right? You know. I'm still in my female form. <laughs> I. Uh... The spirit is still present, having watched this happen, and is still under the effect of of the charm well, because the spirit, the, charm? the the spirit itself is the one that's still undergoing the charm. The body was basically just a husk, so you just deleted the body, and it doesn't... He should be upset, but he's so charmed he doesn't care. <laughs> like, well, well, I guess I'm dead. The master chose for me to die. <laughs> kind of seething, and I, I ignore Samuel. Mm. Oh, I kind of wow. like snap, I snap uh, my fingers in front of uh, you're in your female form, you said her mm -hmm. face. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like clapping my hands. Uh, Anubis, uh, what the hell's going on? I grab him by the wrist and I say, "Don't, just don't." In light of in light of uh, the information that has in, in the transpiring uh, situation near, turns around and she's like. This is fucked. I, I gotta go check on some shit. I'll, I'll I'll meet you guys later. And then she teleports away to tower. <laughs> uh, I do. Can I do a? Can I do a, like a strength check to kind of get your uh, arm off, Anubis? Uh, yeah, that'd be against what my strength. Mm-hmm. Strength check for pretty good odds here. Well, maybe not. Mm. <laughs> I have a negative one on strength. <laughs> no way, by yeah. one. <laughs> by one, wow. I roll a 13. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I I, uh, I snap out of your grip, and I kind of like, uh, kind of grab the back of your neck. I was like, alright, we need to snap out of this and get back into what we're trying to freaking do right now. As we got, he... we, got the we got the information we needed. I think we need to move on. As he's speaking to you this, uh, Anubis, you still hear the voice faintly, but it's starting to fade. It's starting to dissipate into the background. Uh, yeah, let me see how, how intense it, it is. 
Go ahead, use them. Uh, with them save on this, on, in this case. How do I have a plus six wisdom save? Because you're a wizard. I got an 11. Let me see, I'll roll for that too then. Actually, no, it's still actually pretty blooming in your, in your mind then. Uh, and it's, uh, what, so what you're hearing is, is, it's still just with the same words. Feed me. Feed me. Why is this Ryback? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. They start the incantation of Loki's realm shift. While Samuel is holding the back of my neck. Where are you headed? Is Samuel going to attempt to stop me from speaking? Do, would I recognize the incantation that he's doing? That this is what Realm Shift is? Would I remember I that? You've been through it a few times? Yeah. Yeah, you have been through it a few times. I imagine you'd remember. You could okay, also so roll I, you could roll to see if you remember as well. Uh, I don't know if you want to do that. Uh, if I uh, yeah, we've done we've been to Loki before, so uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I start to uh I am just gonna do something very simple. Just put my my, my hand over his mouth or something. Try to Something very simple, and I, as I do that, um, I go to, I yell at Jenkins. Jenkins, uh, something's going on with Anubis right now. Um, he's he's acting really freaking weird. You even notice that his familiar, the Raven, is like flying in circles around him, like freaking out. Hmm. I'll just pile on then. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Dog pile. <laughs> so dog pile on Anubis. Any checks uh, with that or? Mm. You know what? Yeah. Uh, let's do for you two strength checks because I guess you guys are trying to hold him down. Is that what you guys doing? I'm just trying to stop him from speaking of this Loki's realm shit. Okay. I leave the strength stuff to, uh, to Jenkins. I don't think it takes a lot of strength to hold someone's mouth. So slide a hand. It will be slide a hand for you then, I guess, because okay. like you know, That's cover right. his mouth. Strength yeah. for uh, uh, Jenkins and for Anubis. Anubis dexterity. Oh fuck. <laughs> slide of hand. Oh, how did that go so bad? Eighteen. For Ooh, dexterity. eighteen for Dex. Oh no. So, all right, Sam. As you go, <laughs> as you go to Christ. reach, as you Destined go to, to reach, get away. <laughs> as you go to reach to cover his mouth, you you know he pulls away from you fast. Like you like you guys have not seen how fast Anubis can move at times. And uh, Anubis, you're familiar with this because you you flipped over a freaking dragon on a boat and shit. Like <laughs> this is this is essentially kind of one of those situations. It's like oh, as he's it. reaching for your mouth, you're like spiraling out of the way in the air, like all like corkscrew. In the middle of that corkscrew, it's like Jenkins is jumping up at you for a crossbody, and you manage to like push off of his body in the air. So he's now like sailing up above you, and you like just gently float back to the ground while Jenkins is like, oh crap <laughs> <laughs> having realized like all right yeah uh, shit. damn it <laughs> can i can i use the watch yes okay. uh, so i'm gonna do this, i guess just roll again for my watch okay oh this is so cool <laughs> Ooh, cool. Hey, 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 hey. So we replay time again, essentially. Yeah, so you guys get those rolls again because he, uh, Sam rewound time using the, the watch to do this exact so moment just... over again. I re rolled the dexterity as well. Mm hmm. Yeah. So when did we get chance. Dio on the team? <laughs> 13. Was that a JoJo reference? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Son of a. 
so I'm, Sam, I'm, this I'm, time, I'm, this time, knowing what to look for, you were successfully able tired, to get your man. hand around his. <laughs> you're successfully able to get your hand around his face, and he's he's about to. He, you know, he's saying. It's all right, I got you to go because because you successfully get your hand and then as that's happening jenkins again with that crossbody he's trying to go for it and anubis grabs you sam and him and you both just like kind of get pulled down to the ground by like well sam you get pulled down to the ground by anubis like with you know his exterior check freaking diving down to the ground over like out of the way of uh jenkins's crossbody so once again jenkins you just sail over (laughs) 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 but you successfully stopped him from the realm shift okay all right right, it's a a good thing i had this pillow to land on (laughs) (laughs) what is his hand still on my mouth, or when we fell, did his hand come off my mouth? Ooh, let's yeah, roll I, for am that. I, am I still, yeah. Let's roll for that. Let, I'm gonna say... Oh, uh, let's make that dual dex. Let's make those dual dexes. Yes. Dual dex? General dex. Mm-hmm. Dual dexes for both of you. That's very interesting. Oh god damn bro. I'm still, I'm still Wow Sam is not playing bro. Oh. <laughs> so on the way down the he whole, owned, that's how I'm now. <laughs> on the way down you had a whole plan, Anubis, to like tuck his arm so that you will get his like his hand off of your face, but somehow magically this dude's just nope. <laughs> and he's still covering your mouth. So you guys land on the floor, you watch Jenkins sailing over you, you find it slightly Wait. humorous. <laughs> you find it slightly humorous what you saw, but at the same time, like you're also then like you're on your back, and uh, Sam, you're on your side, like next to Anubis, like with yeah. your hand covering his mouth, and Anubis, your eyes are just like trained on uh, on Sam until you see Jenkins sailing over you. Then you you watch as your eyes your eyes are just like kind of following Jenkins. You sort of chuckle and then you look back out. <laughs> And now, if you could do me a quick favor, Anubis, and give me another wisdom save. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I guess as he's doing this wisdom save, I'm like whispering. Not, not really whispering in his ear, but I'm like telling him, listen, calm down. You know, we're not, we're not fighting. Yes. Please, snap the out of this. Voice, we're trying the, to help you. The voice dissipates, and as the voice dissipates, the blade of chaos was, uh, the blade of chaos, the blade of vengeance. God damn it, this is not going to work, <laughs> which is still in your hand. Uh, starts to vibrate and then, like in a shadowy mist, kind of just vanishes. And you're back to your normal self. <laughs> For the time being. Kind of like broken voice in my lady voice. <laughs> lady Ateo's dead. I take my uh, my hand out of uh, his mouth to kind of because I know he's trying to verbalize. I let him. Arr, 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 arr. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> 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 that's really what it sounded like. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I'm like, okay, he's ready to talk now. <laughs> I understand completely. <laughs> <laughs> I know you guys have some serious relationship with this lady Atayel, so. Uh... Blood, uh, this guy, Blood Neville, Blood. Naveen, yeah, Naveen, Trickle Blood. Trickle Blood, Blood Trickle. (laughs) Needs. Neville, Blood Trickle. (laughs) (laughs) Wait, is it Naveed or Naveen? Naveed, it's Naveed, yeah. Naveed. (laughs) Naveed, yeah, Naveed. Trickle Blood, yeah. Yeah, I went, real J- I went real J.K. Rowling with that name. I know. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> okay. Luna Lovegood and shit. <laughs> Neville Longbottom. Fuck it. <laughs> Longbottom. Get the fuck out of here, J.K. <laughs> Fucking Longbottom. Now me trickle blood. So with the, with the events that have transpired, um... What do you guys, you guys want to make it back to Tower? You want to uh, start heading back to Tower and discuss the ongoings? Yeah, I guess we collect ourselves. You know, we know we have the information we need. 
If he triple blood, he needs to like, to find this character. You're right, you're right, you're right. And the uh, yeah. Valley of Dead Dragons or and whatever. Dead Dragons. Yeah. And uh, and noob, I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 I do feel a little bad about it. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> right, yeah, so like we we we, we pick uh, Anubis up and kind of dust him off from the wrestling match. <laughs> Just like <laughs> all the dust kind of comes comes off of him. It's like, all right, man, let's uh, let's head back. All right, so I'm going to activate the Jacqueline main page and uh, Shabao. Going by foot or? That's up to you guys. What do you guys think? I mean, technically we're gonna all fly, right? Oh. No. I can carry Jenkins. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I can use Bottom Lord for me. Right? <laughs> you wanna polymorph? You say you're gonna polymorph Jenkins into a bird or something? I can use it on other people. I, mean, I do know the spell Levitate, I just don't know if it can work like that. I believe with Levitate, you could use that to make yourself lighter so that you're more carryable. Uh oh. I mean, you can be on dice. Also. Oh no! <laughs> well, that reuses a whole level 2 slot, and I only get 3 of those. <laughs> you got your perfect warlock, your weapons and supplies. But no, 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 I'm not doing this. <laughs> oh. Apparently, I can't check. Um, so, yeah. Okay, let's just uh, head out. Yeah, let's just get there. All right, so upon arriving back at the tower, uh, you guys walk in. Um, Nier seems to be in um, the uh, in one of the other chambers talking to uh, Kevin Vass and Jackie about the ongoing events that they went through. And uh, just, you know, is seeming t seemingly is trying to do her best to kind of help her friend and nurse him back to health before she sends him home. Uh, you guys walk into the main chamber to find Iroh sitting in the middle of the floor, deep in meditation. Almost as if, like... He, he fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to say that, but fine. You guys see a bubble, like, coming out of his nose? You know? <laughs> no, no. You see him deep in, in, uh, in, um, in uh, meditation. And he seems to be very concentrated. It's almost as if... He's trying his hardest to commune with Kosuth through the muck and, and dis disturbing aura that is the uh, Underdark. Uh, you guys see you, your uh, staff and, you know, the hands, uh, everybody just kind of going all around doing different work. There's people carrying crates to different rooms and stuff to prepare, like, stuff for the war room and all that stuff. Uh, you got um, these... Uh, these uh, these men and women in robes that are like taking the dirty water out of the bath section and they're um putting it through what through this heated irrigation system that like funnels it back into the uh bath in order to keep it you know filtered and best quality possible kind of deal um yeah and that will paint the scene as now you guys are back at el tower Never seen uh, Iroh meditate like this. Should we uh, poke him, bother him? I don't know what we should do here. You guys uh, know him? I have. Not seen him like this in a while. Nerd. <laughs> 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 there, are, there are a few candelabras around and you guys as you look at the candelabras the flames seem to be leaning toward Ira. I I guess I'll go forward uh, and uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll be I'll be the one to go kind of just not necessarily bother him but I'm just kind of getting a lay of the area that he's in and the circle that he's in and kind of encroaching in that circle taking a step into Ooh, okay. As you take a step into the circle, can you roll me a quick con save? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I am. Ding bong, boom, boom, bow. That's my guy. My guy. You said a uh, con save, right? Yes. Ooh. 
Dios, con Dios, ay. As, as you start to step into the uh, circle that he's sitting into in the middle of, you feel a blast of radiant energy immediately hit you upon crossing the threshold. And Iroh, you sense that somebody has tried to step through. Your eyes open immediately. You see Sam now being burned by your radiant flame. You take... Shit. 10 points of radiant damage. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I yell at Iroh. Iro, what the fuck, man? Uh, Ten points. As Iroh's as eyes open, all of the runes in the circle around him no longer are lit up. The candles go back to normal, and you see him just... <gasps> Iro, so Iro, oh, how do you want to handle it? Yeah, yeah. Oh no! Well, I, I, well, as soon as I step out of it, and uh, as soon as I step out of it, uh, I turn. As soon as I turn around, I realized I had done that. As soon as he went into the radius, I also, uh, I, I just performed the healing word on him to, to help him with that radiant damage. Oh, and apologizing. All right. And go. saying, "No, I'm sorry." That was a deep in thought, and. Uh, it, it's hard. It, it, they're, they're, I don't realize the extent of the abilities when uh, in the underdark. In, 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 in the light, it would have been clearer where the, my my line was, but in the dark, it's it's hard to see. Uh, all right, man. No problem. Wow. Are you all right? What's on here? Uh, just trying to commune commune with Kasuz. I'm we're trying. I'm trying to strengthen myself down here. This. I've been uh, not at full strength since we got here. You feel it, as though, it's been causing it. Iro, you feel as no, though it's been maybe semi-successful. Like you have certain instances where you can, you know, tap Kosuth, but there's other instances where you feel like he's not listening mm. or he can't hear you. So I've been trying to strengthen my bond, but uh, it, it looks like I'm gonna have to start uh, counting more a little bit on myself down here. And he did tell me this. So that's why I, I'm gonna have to start uh, gearing up a little more. I'm hoping so. Uh, if you guys are up for it, I need to get some gear. The fires that were previously in the southern parts of town where you guys were have been extinguished by the uh, uh, by the patrons of the city. They uh, have um, started doing uh, repair efforts and, and stuff. Um, but you do get the sense that it, it came from the cultists that you guys uh, stopped. So you did effectively stop the source of the agitation. Um, Aside from this, uh, you do see Marin. Marin sees that you guys have uh, returned. He walks into the main chamber. Ah, you guys are here. So... What was it? What happened? Well, we ran into some <laughs> cultists and mind flares. Mind flares? <laughs> flares here in the city my, of Jacqueline? That's... Mind flares, yeah. That's Fucking positively... ugly, disgusting, they stink. That's positively reckless and disgusting and... Oh, no. Ew. And they stink. Um, <laughs> stink like fucking bacalao. Did you, dis did you dispatch of the, of the monster? Well, honestly, we tried to, but it ran away. Just ran, when we were ran away. That, it just happened to, just when we were about to attack it, just kind of vanished, left the cultist on its own. He's a slippery little fish. Yeah, slippery eel. <laughs> uh, if they're mobilizing this fast, we might have. Well, we have information. We, information. Well, we do have information. Yeah, we have information on their whereabouts. Uh, Please do tell. Was, uh, Anubis, what was it? The Dragon Gorge Valley, something like that. Jenkins, uh, don't quite. Dead Dragon's Gulch. Dead Dragon's Gorge. Gorge Gulch. Game Gorge. Dragon... Gorge. You got it, Gorge. <laughs> Dead Dragon's Cleavage. <laughs> Dead Dragon's Butthole. Uh... <laughs> well, I am available. No, but uh, yeah, why not? Uh, if anything, like I said, mind quickly. Uh, I need to just gear up for some shit, just in case whatever we gotta get prepared for. Whatever you need, we'll get. I need vengeance. Somebody I do need to go talk to that smithy. Thank him for the vengeance. You know. Vengeance, like, what did I miss about? I'm here in vengeance now. All right, Anubis had a little bit of a. Uh... A lapse. 
that he hit. What do you mean he had a lapse? Did he, did he snap? I mean, he's he is here. You want to explain any of this? Hi, bro. Okay, I've missed a lot, apparently. Wow, well, uh, 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 the morbid with the ugly. Wait, say it again. Just be happy you weren't there for the ugly. Uh, I guess so. Um, oh, uh, well, that 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 does put a damper in my, uh, my realization now that I'm back in. Uh, and in this, I, I can't believe my concentration has kept me away from you guys, and I haven't been able to help you. I wish I was there to. It is at this point that there, it is at this point that uh, on the uh, central podium of the of the main chamber, there is a uh, uh, a jewel. This jewel is a is a portal teleportation jewel, a la the likes of what Vivica has used and what Siri has used, and it, the you see like as a, a blue orb starts to form around the crystal and whoosh, portal opens up, stepping out of said portal, Siri Albion. Okay, I came as soon as I heard. W w what's this about memories? We, we have to, what, what happened? My eyes well up. Anubis, what, what happened? What's the matter? Guys? She's looking like... down my face. I'm still in her female form. <laughs> She's looking upon all of you like in shock. She knows that she was tapped that she had to uh, get here so that uh, she could handle the thing with Jackie's memories. Mm -hmm. But now she's seeing this and seeing this look of shock on all of your faces and seeing Anubis crying, something she's not used to. What the hell is going on? Am I too late? No. It's, you know, it's just a bit of emotional trauma from what I can see, but... Uh... <laughs> um, um... It's good to see you, Siri. Yeah, it's good to see you too, big boy. Uh, oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, they've always had a thing. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said it. Huh. <laughs> so she. So Siri walks over to you, Jenkins. What is going on? I've never seen Anubis like this. What's? Please tell me, it's not. It's not her, is it? <laughs> I have no idea. You don't Sorry. Look... I've got my own personal business going on right now. I was going to say, you seem a little distressed yourself. I must have mm -hmm. missed a lot. And is that Ivo? You, you look way different from... But what the heck happened to you? Oh, that's right. I've had a big change since the last time you saw. The glow up. She, she then starts to walking over to Anubis and kneels down, touching Anubis on the shoulder. What is it? What? Wait, Atiel, this Jen. I, I can't. I oh, can't. Yeah. Say that. <laughs> That can't be. Like, the stasis field around Firefly Grotto is still. This. Where where did you get this information? How how? I got it through uh... the blade. You told me. Yeah. Blade. The blade was activated by the reading of some scroll that we found on a mind flare quest. So the flares made their way to. So they're starting the attack. <sighs> shit. Shit, 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 shit. Fuck. Okay, okay. How do we do this? How do we do this? Oh, God. Um. 
Okay, you can't break down. Everyone else is. No, 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 no. I think I have an idea. If things okay. are getting this serious, this fast, I'm going to have to notify Viv. I'm going to have to let Viv know. She's not going to be able to get here for a while, but reinforcements. We're going to need that. Reinforcements. I see that you guys don't really have anything as far as magical barrier defense for this uh, base, so I'm getting on my... Uh, I'll get on that. Um, Anubis. She grabs your hands, looking at you deep in your eyes. I... I promise you. We're gonna find a way. We're gonna get her back. My father, he... figured something out before. It worked once. It's risky. But if she is gone, it depends on the timing, how long she's been gone. We may be able to get her back, but we're going to need someone's help. Someone you know. He's the only one that can help. We got to call Loki. She looks around at all of you. And then she just, like, uh, kind of looks over by the, uh, by one of the, um, like, I guess couches or whatever the hell. <coughs> and takes a seat. Starts pulling out a bunch of, like, different books from underneath her robe. It's like, seemingly there's no packaging there or anything for her to be pulling this shit out. But she's pulling out tons of books, like, would have been in a fucking desk somehow. <laughs> and she's like, all right. In order to be get able to get the defenses that we need for here, all of this is what I should need. <sighs> I'm getting to work. Um. <sighs> Fuck. I wish I came earlier. I should have came earlier. This is my fault. <sighs> well, fuck it. It's like that said, right? Yeah. Shit happens. So you just gotta keep them rolling with the punches. <sighs> oh, God. Uh, by the way, uh, where's the princess? Yeah, I guess we had some business to attend to. Yeah. Hmm. She's been missing for two centuries, apparently. Yeah. This is right, 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 right. She looks like too. <laughs> I, I heard about something like that. I, it's, there's a lot of uh, areas in, this, uh, in the Underdark where time dilation becomes really really apparent because of there there was this uh experimentation within uh within you know time travel that has been done here it was based off of my father's work off of off of adam albion and uh, the thing is what i'm not sure of is how far they were able to get i do recognize the places where the dilation is coming from though because of this and then she pulls out this um medallion and you see that like it's it looks like a lion like the the head of a lion but the eyes are like this green color this lets me know the eyes of a lion will always see uh samuel pulls the, the scroll that we got from the cultist and hands it to her see if you can uh add this to your research maybe you'll find something new she, out hey she you go back uh, i dropped it i dropped it Okay, cool. All right. Well, All Siri right. has the scroll, and she's uh, looking at it. Yeah, yeah, this is definitely going to help. Um, I also give her the broken amulet from the... Uh, she see... Ooh, so you hand over the amulet, she's looking at it. This is a possession oh. amulet. If it's cracked, that means that the entity inside was released. What happened? Well, I tried it on. You what? Yeah. Are you insane? Sam, you yes. could have died. Yes. I, yeah. I, well, that's just the risks you take. You might be crazier than even me. I like so, it. <laughs> so pretty much I just had a weird experience faced some sort of deep, dark entity that should be You saw the ether. Yeah. 
That's impossible. Anyone who's ever seen the ether goes mad instantly. Unless they're... Unless they're... It's you. And me, yes. She grabs you by the hand and pulls you aside. <laughs> like, pulling you, like, you know, to a uh, portion of the room. You guys can still listen in, but it's, like, more whisper talk. So you have to, like, you know, concentrate a little. But, uh... I am taking more in. <laughs> if you were able to... If you were able to view the ether without going insane, you may be one of the legendary time streamers. Do you have a Kronos device? I mean, I have... I just... When it comes to time, I, the only thing I have is my watch that my grandfather made. It allows me to kind of uh, mess around with time a bit. Not quite sure exactly how it works, but it's effective when I need it. I definitely would like to take a look at it, but I imagine because it was given to you by your grandfather, it's a... Uh... Emotional value to it? I trust you. I kind of show it to her. She, uh... Are you, like, handing it to her, or are you just, like, holding it up? Uh... No, I'm not, I, I take it out of my, uh... I take it off my person and kind of hand, put the chain. It, kind of, it drops in her hand along with the chain. Mm. So handing it to her. I, she, okay. The group trusts her, I trust her. So she's holding on to it and I'm looking at it, she's like, I think I know what he did here. I think you have a full chronosphere here. It's just not untapped yet. I have to, there might be a few things that I have to do, but basically what I can do, since I'm not a time streamer myself, is I can study it to know exactly what the parameters were. And you, then following those directions, may be able to bring it back to its proper form as a chronosphere. You might as well be speaking orcish to me, but uh, if you're uh, I, me I'm a, sorry, I, I get really, I get really enthusiastic about this stuff. Imagine, imagine <laughs> being able to pinpoint any point in time, or even being able to isolate something in time, right in front of you, and fast forward it, it, its existence, or even. You know, uh, push back its uh, its existence within time and space, in the same area that it's in. Everything else stays the same, save for the individual affected by the sphere. This can also be used to effectively time travel. Thing is, stabilization is an issue because most people aren't time streamers. They they're not supposed to exist. It's a thing that apparently the gods wanted balance and a time streamer would equal no balance if it was an abundance of them because anyone could do whatever they want they say that there's maybe three or four every hundred years and it's been 200 years now since boiler bay and we're counting two if your grandfather gave this to you i know this is i know that this is a lot i know it sounds crazy I think, crazy. I think you may be a scion of time. But it's just a theory. A game theory. No, nah, it's just a... <laughs> but it's just a theory. I, I don't have all the necessary bits of proof that I would need yet. But you having this, and she's holding up the watch, this is a big, big step in the direction of, you know, that being the case. Well... There's a lot of time tri tribal stuff going on here, and it seems that the Mind Flayers were looking for something similar to this. Am I right? The Mind Flayers have been looking for means to travel through time uh, willingly without too much time dilation for a long time. Uh, it is said that they're extremely ancient. They've been here since the old Grey Ones. And... It's just that that's all legend, though. We don't know. Like, I've only had the one run in that I've ever had with my flares when uh, we were captured and what they and when they experimented on Glenda. But aside from that, I only heard through stories, legend, things passed to me by, by my father. 
and um, from the looks of it, they've been looking for any way to push time travel as far as they can go. I think it's so that they could clear out anything that would be opposition to them, so they would have no way of being challenged when they take over, if that makes sense. Kind of like, you know, if we were to use it, we go back in time to kill the bad guy before he becomes the bad guy. What if they're trying to go back in time to kill the good guy before they can even manifest? This is a lot to think about. I heard the word identify, so I slowly crawl over, and I just get them by this point in the conversation, and I touch the amulet, and identify. Okay. Oh, crack amulet. Okay. <laughs> oh, on the cracked amulet. Mm, okay. Casting identify on the cracked amulet. Uh, what you get from it is uh that um. How do I fucking do it? Like, cause identify is just telling you what it is. It's straight up a possession amulet. But what they've done is, you kind of like get the construction of it in a way. They have taken um soul source energy if you will and they can trap a soul within the uh within the um within the amulet the way that it works is once they have trapped the soul within the amulet then they can corrupt it using the essence of the death knight this is what creates a new death knight and they've been using this as a method of bolstering their forces creating strong soldiers for the darkness all of this with identify is revealed to you immediately so you know what's going on with the amulet now ignore what they said except for the word identify mm -hmm. and then as soon as they stop talking i relay what i just meant so you guys now are uh understand the exact way that the amulet works this is why siri was so freaked out sam and then she, she, uh, in fact, let me just, this is why I was so freaked out when you told me that you put it on. Uh, for all intents and purposes, uh, a sliver of your soul could have been trapped in this and might be gone forever now. We have no way of knowing. You, you could have been gone forever. It's a miracle that even Jackie was able to sustain the way that he did. And from the looks of it, he nearly died. So, I j uh, the Death Knight form never took you? No, it didn't. I resisted the call to the dark by attempting to resonate some sort of light from myself, but wasn't necessarily successful in doing so. I think that's what caused the amulet to crack. And it that was... It rejected your source of light. Wow, Sam. You may have a lot more power in you than you realize. This is exciting. <sighs> but also not exciting considering the news given to me by Anubis and uh, I'm so conflicted. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Because he, he had crawled over to do identify. Oh, he yeah. Was <laughs> I think, uh, I think it's a lot of info, and I have to lay down for a minute. <laughs> I need a drink, too. I, 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 I hear you on that. After what Anubis told me, I think we all could use a drink. Do you guys have drinks here? Anything? Brandy? Something? I kind of, like, clap my hands, <laughs> even though I know that nothing's going to happen. <laughs> Just... So you clap your hands? Let me see something. You clap, actually, you clap your hands and one of the hand, one of the, uh, staff hands that, you know, from the crew actually comes over with, like, a fucking tray having heard this shit and it's got, like, an assortment of all different meads, <laughs> fucking ales oh, and fucking... I tell Siri, I told you I was powerful. I start just, like, flexing. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys have your drinks about you. Now... Now with that, Marin is seeing all this, and Marin is just like, so you guys have been in, you guys truly were telling the truth when you said that you were in touch with an Albion. This is incredible. And then Marin starts to walk up to Siri, and she's seeing a droll walking up to her that she hadn't seen before. She, whoa, whoa, who the hell are you? Like, I, 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 I'm a friend, I'm a friend. And a huge, 
fan. I, I was familiar with Adam and all of his works. If you're his daughter and you're anything like him, I believe you to be in a very invaluable asset to the uh, to the Last Hope. Wait, you're you're a dark elf affiliated with the Last Hope? Not all of us are in service to Loaf. She got she does this kind of like cocked look like mm. <laughs> okay. Well, all right. If that's true, keep it that way, cause uh, trust me, I uh, I'll have a way of finding out. And he's like, I I I'm I'm pretty sure, and trust me, there's no harm will ever come to any of these people from me. In fact, it wouldn't even make any sense for me to to harm these people. They literally are the key to <laughs> my people's salvation. And she kind of just gives him this, like, people's eyebrow look for a sec. I'm like, all right. <laughs> you get the sense that Siri doesn't really trust him? <laughs> just put that out there. <coughs> so, now with all the information that you guys have been given, uh, it's right now at this point, because uh, it was, like, uh, already pretty much nighttime when you guys had done your incursion, so we're, like, going into either the late night or early morning hours, so you guys can choose to long rest if you wish now or whatever the hell, or you can go shopping, whatever the hell, days are yours. Yeah, that's long rest, get the charges in my watch, kind of all taken care of. Did Siri want to... While I long rest, if I don't just experiment on the, the watch or do something with it, like get some information from it, I'll just leave it to her until we go on an excursion. It would still be able to gain its charges either way, because it's not in use. Yeah. So it'd be fine. I'll let her, I'll let <laughs> so her it's really up to you. Yeah, I'll let her tinker with it until we leave the building. Okay. So she's definitely excited about that. You see it, visible yeah. excitement. Like, well, yeah, I got a toy that I can put in. <laughs> um, oh, that's not Jenkins? Uh, <laughs> can't just let me get to things, can you? Like, right? <laughs> going out. Fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yeah, for the rest of you guys now, um, Anubis, uh, Jenkins, Iro, I, uh, Sam. I, I imagine you're just lying down and drinking. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm, I'm just relaxing. There's a lot of information and just a lot of things to think about. You know, and I'm just, I'm, I'm literally like just drinking and hanging out. I got that like sleepy snot bubble actually coming out of my nose. I told, I told you heads up, it was gonna be an expositional fucking <laughs> day today. Um, I mean, it's level ten, guys. It's like a whole new story. <laughs> um, all right, so uh, yeah, Jenkins, what are you doing? What are you up to? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna head out with Ira. Ah, go shopping. Cool. Yeah. Can you do me one quick favor? Uh, can you give me a quick uh wisdom? I would say wisdom <laughs> save. Yeah, wisdom save. A wisdom save. Wisdom. Where is my shit? Uh, wisdom. Say. So upon that wisdom save, you do, unfortunately, for, for a second, trip into a vision. The vision shows you that of the red tiefling lady and some of the experiments she did on you. You see that there's a myriad of different syringes of different types, and they seem to be injecting subjects with these things you see what seems to be just a regular human male that's you know strapped up to uh what seems to be like these chains in a cell and as she opens the cell door he's like no 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 and she injects him with this like weird like purple vial of this weird people's purple liquidish thing and as she injects it into him you start to see as his skin then changes to green and he starts to grow horns but in the midst of the transformation it starts to go unstable and it's just like his body is like now melting and then he just becomes a skeleton still strapped to the chains and all the flesh and everything just burned off his body and she's like damn it another failure and then whoosh, you're back out of the vision 
Memories uh, light the corners <laughs> of your mind. Oh, the second thoughts, I need a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> So, uh, are you are you gonna get a drink and still go out with Iroh, or are you uh, just chilling now? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll grab another mead off that flat pallet or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just Alrighty. walk out with it. All right. So, uh, th before we uh, go to Iroh, so we can go shopping, Anubis, uh, how about you? How are you doing right now? Besides, besides, obviously not good. <laughs> crawling into whatever room or corner of the room. I can. <laughs> Fetal position? <laughs> no, I'm going to get crazy. Ooh. I'm going to cast Alter Self. Hmm. I think I could do that. <laughs> just make sure this is legal. Play it. Um, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> it is. Like a, like a tumbable. Turn into pile. <laughs> what are you doing? Here we go. There you go. Figure it out. Change appearance. You change form your appearance. You decide what you look like, including height, weight, facial features. Sound of your voice, hair length, discoloration, and distinguished characteristics. Okay. Oh, I mean, by your rule, can I turn into a pile of shit with like a face? <laughs> Honestly? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't see any reason as to why not. <laughs> as long as the mass is the same, I suppose. <laughs> mm -hmm. right, last an hour, but I'm going uh, to yeah. cry looking like a pile of shit, so it looks like a piece of shit is sweating. And oh. I'm just gonna like that. Why? Oh. <laughs> oh. I feel nah. so bad. <laughs> I genuinely feel bad. Can we wreck on this? <laughs> I feel bad now. <laughs> I didn't see that, so I fucking thought I was having a bad day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, God. Oakley Doodle. Now we go over to Sir Iroh. I guess it's yes, a, sir. I guess it's a shopping time, huh? It's a shopping time. Shopping time. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna I'm gonna head out, guys. I'm I, like I said, I'm the, I'm gonna go check up on the blacksmith. I'm just gonna purchase some items uh, that I think we're gonna I'm, at least I feel we're gonna need for this little uh, trip of ours, and. Uh, I think we should get, and then uh, I'll be back, and we can get going. So uh, I'm coming with you. There we go. Uh, so you guys walking? You guys, what are you doing? Um. Oh, we're on the top of a tower. That's right. Fuck, like, I could just jump down and land on no, but not. That'll be good. That'll make a landing like a Marvel fucking hero. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Awful on the knees. Yeah. It, it really, is, but I got really wings to slow the impact down. <laughs> it really isn't good. Like you should, you should never do that. <laughs> but uh, no, but I got wings that can slow the impact down with my wings anyway. So yeah, so how do you? So you wanna? Are you like you guys walking there? Or I mean, Jenkins is going with you, so. Yeah, I'll be walking. All right. So <laughs> yeah, I guess we're walking there. To get to the um, all right. So to get to the uh, the hammer's pit. Which would be the uh, uh, blacksmith spot where you guys are headed. It's about 20 minutes from your current location. So we'll say uh, for the two 10 minute uh, sections, uh, perception checks for y'all, if y'all if don't mind. Okay. I'll need to see if y'all see some stuff. Uh, Maybe no. you don't. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> Late. Told Jen it. Jenkins just wants to go to the ding. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we both don't have shit. All right. So, so, all right. You didn't see anything on your two. You got one more, Mister, uh, Mister Dragonborn Man. I got two more. One more. One more perception. Oh, one more. Mm -hmm. Oh. Because it was two for each ten minutes of the twenty minutes. Yo, oh, you get the same, same roll. <laughs> <laughs> I got the exact same roll. You 
you guys are so focused on your task getting to the freaking blacksmith and like the, the streets are pretty crowded right now with a bunch of people all trying to like get supplies and stuff as you you uh, imagine a lot of them are from south side because uh um you know the the recent uh attack that happened the fires you see a lot of uh what seems to be uh survivors who are uh looking for any provisions that they can get they're they're haggling at all the different stores and stuff and it's just so noisy that you guys can't really get a good look at anything real but you finally get to the um you finally get to the smith shop and as you are walking into the smith shop you see that it's uh it's pretty busy in here you got a you got what seems to be some of marvin's men here who are you know uh trying to you know broker some deals for uh weapons uh weapons delivery to uh the um the uh citadel portion of town uh for defensive purposes as they are uh, believing that something of nefarious uh of nefarious origin is or uh, is happening uh, especially considering the events that have taken place recently with uh with the uh events in the uh southern portion of town <laughs> you also see like a, a bunch of uh other five individuals you see there's this big burly dude with a war hammer this human guy with long ZZ top beard and uh he seems to be he just kind of he he seems to be just kind of like scanning the whole place making sure that nobody's you know getting too rowdy um anubis you see a uh, female air genasi who has Wait, is anubis with us Oh, right. Anubis isn't there. Sorry. Whoops. You're a piece of shit. My bad. <laughs> I, forgot. I forgot he's a piece of shit right now. I'm so sorry. But what you, got, what you, what you, what you two see is an air genasi that uh, mm -hmm. is obviously a wizard. They're adorned in these wizard robes, and they seem to have this giant tome on their back, like a backpack. <laughs> and it's like uh, golden embroidery and all kinds of shit. Um, but they're... Um, but uh yeah they seem to just kind of just be chilling by the big dude uh you guys also see um this uh this little dude with he's a little dwarven dude with this weird kind of shambled up haircut he's got like um like these haunches you know what i mean there's a whole bunch of hair here but none like on his mouth or, or chin it's just like just all this <laughs> and uh he's um He's got what seems to be on on his feet instead of shoes. It's like just it seems to be like pieces of leather that have been folded around and then tied around his feet. <laughs> These baggy kind of uh, Dragon Ball kind of looking pants and a, a light splint uh armor on the top and you guys see on his uh on his wrists that he has these wrist blades with uh, three claws on each uh hand. <laughs> and the other two individuals are like further in the back a little bit more obscured uh you can't really um like make good detail of them but you could tell that there are two more individuals one of them seemingly wearing a uh, large brimmed hat and uh of course you also got you also see the smith himself uh just banging away at uh at what seems to be a couple of uh of um these uh great swords and uh ra rather really good looking great swords you see a couple of claymores that are also in the back uh, he he doesn't seem to be the only worker there but he's the only one right now at the pit if that makes sense so what y'all want to do well, I'm going to come over and try to get somebody's attention so that way I can uh, start. Um, I have a specific idea of things that I want to get. Okay, so you step up uh, You step up to the uh, available clerk. This, uh, I'm going to ding the bell on the front of the counter. Ding! You see, uh, and you see as uh, this uh, red tiefling, uh, this uh, red tiefling woman approaches. Um, she, hey, look, she, we found your girlfriend. <laughs> she looks, she looks starkly different from what you've seen, Jenkins. So it's obviously not the same person, but it's still a red tiefling. And she steps up. She's like, "Hey, so how can I help you? Uh, welcome to, uh, welcome to the uh, Hammer and Pit." Uh, we have so many different wares to, for all of your adventuring needs as far as, uh, you know, damage dealing and, uh, and defense. So what are you looking for? Defense or damage? <laughs> I 
I'm actually looking for some damage. Damage? Um, yes, I am looking for... A, I need to get a, a great sword. All right, now... In meta, what kind of great sword are you looking for? What are you looking for here? Uh, kind of designed the way a, uh, a giant uh, katana is formed, two-handed sword. Do you have an idea for an uh, you have an actual like uh, great sword uh, item in mind? I, that I think I, if you, uh, no. If right now I'm just doing basic great sword. It doesn't have to be with an ability. It's just a regular great sword. So I went with the regular one that came in uh, in D and D Beyond. So I already have it equipped. It. It's a plus ah, one okay. great sword. If it's just a basic great sword, that's gonna cost you around the I would say fifty gold. 50 gold yep, not even and five. then yeah i'm not looking for i'm not looking for anything special right now right now i'm just testing i want to test something out with uh, my uh some spells but i need a weapons to be able to attach i need weapons to be able to attach it to so she so, uh, so she turns around she's like oh basic great sword cool so she turns around she pulls this uh basic this uh great sword from the wall and she could barely lift it she's like dragging it like this thing should do it <laughs> And uh, yeah, uh, so you want to do the fifty gold transaction? She she takes the fifty gold. She's excited, of course, because she's making the sale. Uh, as you pick up the sword, you notice that it just kind of like is light for you. It's just like perfect fit, if you will. It's an extension of your arm. All right. All right. So yes, yeah, so I'm I'm gonna be pretty much like a walking um, armory nowadays, trying to keep myself. Uh, and good standings because right now I'm good. I don't have the power of the light or my flames to help me out through these. So I need something. I need at to be least, a little least, more tanky. Yeah, at least not all the time do you have it. Um, all right. Uh, anything else? And then I'm looking for a a short sword. Basic short sword. Basic short sword. Basic short sword. Basic short, sword. Basic short sword will be about the same price. You get the pin, uh, well, actually, it's less metal, less metal work. Eh, we can do it. We can part for 35. 35 of the gold pieces. I would have, eh, you know what? That's fine. I'm not being picky today. You notice, you notice that the price drops are fucking severe. It's almost as if the attacks have had an effect on the economy. Right. So making, things, like, making things cheaper because they're trying to help and aid the effort. You know what I mean? Not bad. I was like, that. that's fine. And it's basic weapons. I'm not asking for much. No, you're asking for a lot, Iroh. You're asking for too much. Shut up! You're asking for so Fuck much, it. Iroh! No, it's not like... <laughs> Anything else? No, uh, actually, nope. That is it. I was just looking for these two weapons. And then? And then, oh, uh, actually, did I? I no, already then. got that. And then, no, and then, no, no. and then, no, and then, and no, then. And then. And then. Oh, no. <laughs> nope, no, no, and then, no, and then, no, and then. Yeah, dudes wear my. Yeah, that's a dude wears my car reference. Yeah, I'm that old. <laughs> dude wears my car. <laughs> well, Jen while while Jenkins is going to do that, I'm stepping to the corner and I and I I, I, I I'm gonna start breathing a little fire and carving grip. Uh, Hieroglyphs into the blades to enchant my the new weapons I just got. I see. Hmm. Okay. While you're doing that, Jenkins, what you be yeah. those? I mean, I was just gonna try and grab the attention of the guy that did the hammer thing for me. Ah. Okay. The no. the dude. Who no. Actually, now we're gonna. The dude that's actually freaking like manging away. Yeah. All right. So all right. So I, you head over to the pit, and as you head over to the pit, he looks over at you. Hey, you're back. Hey, how did that go for you? I just, uh, I summoned the hammer to my hand and I'm like, yep, yeah, yeah. um, it exploded. Is that normal? That's actually part of the design, yeah. It's, okay, uh, cool. Just it's... letting you know I got it. All right. <laughs> I mean, I only imagined, so I remember when you uh, brought it to me in the, originally, you just kind of made it come to you. But I'm glad that you paid first because imagine I wouldn't have gotten paid for my work. <laughs> but uh, I'm glad that it served the purpose. How did you find out that it explodes, by the way? Uh, I hit a wall and it went boom. 
Demolitions! Nice! So, so do you like it? Is it, you know, like, is it good for you, or...? Uh, yeah, I just... Was it good for you? you? tell me what, what's actually in it, that'd be lovely. What I did was I took, uh, Red Fire Dragon Dust. Oh, no, you dropped my camera. I mean, how do I use it? <laughs> I did, uh, I, I took Red Fire Dragon Dust and I just incorporated it into the base of it. So the way it works is, uh, quite simple. All you gotta do is just call upon the rune's energy. It's really easy. You'll, you'll know it because it's hot. <laughs> you'll feel it in your, in your person. And then, upon using it, boom. It can also be tied to your emotion, though, so watch out. If you're a little pissed off, it might just boom by accident. You got three booms per day, and then it's got to recharge. It's, uh, you know, magic runes, they, they only can keep so many charges uh, in a day. It sounds like you got you to gotta work on your boom stamina. <laughs> Uh oh, I'm gonna go boom boom. Yeah. <laughs> you got your... And be careful. And be I careful actually... with those accidental booms. I actually have a, a name that I've been working on. I'm uh, hoping the patent. Uh, it's called the the boomstick. <laughs> no, no, I'm just playing. <laughs> shop smart. Shop, <laughs> shop smart. Shop S smart. <laughs> Hail to the king, baby. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> this is my boom stick. God damn camera is like pissing me off. There you go. Jesus. Yeah. Like, now it's just staticky. This, this, this is how cyberpunk my whole setup is. Anyway. <clears throat> so you guys have. Uh, is, is there anything else that uh, we can do for you, Mr. Hornman? You, you, um, you're the guy working on the, the pit. Sees me lighting a, his, the the blade that I just given and red hotting it in front of him. Cause I'm breathing flames into the carpet to play. Wait, oh, so wait, you're doing that in front of the in front of the pitmaster? I'm in, I'm I'm still in the store. I haven't even walked out. So so you're in so uh, but, but, uh, it depends on where you are in the store. Are you in the corner of the store, like by where the uh where it seems that a uh, other party was, or are you like where the um where the pitmaster is, where he's actually banging away on a sword right now, talking to Jenkins? Oh, well, I guess I'm still near the front counter when I was when we were talking to the tiefling. Okay, Can he yeah. see from there? Okay, so that's kind of a ways away because the pit's more in the back. Oh, uh, okay. So he wouldn't see what you're doing. But, uh, yeah, so you guys are carrying in this conversation, I guess. Uh, goddamn camera. Ugh. I just need a new camera, guys. That's it. Excuse me for the tactical difficulties. The ta the, the tacty daffies. Is there anything else that you guys would, would like to do? Nah. So, nope, I'm, I'm working on the, I'm working on mine. So I'm ready to go. Okay, so are you ready to head back then? Yep, I'm actually ready. I, I'm working on it still, but I'm, I'm I can work on it on the go. As you guys uh, start to walk out, the big burly dude like goes in front of the door and he kind of like reaches his hand out like this like to stop y'all for a second hold on you guys seem pretty strong where you guys come from i haven't seen you around this is addressing now the both of you i i i, I tap on jenkins what are we nowadays? I have no idea. I've been out of it for the last couple of days. Pissed off, depressed, fucking you name it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what, what I'm going to It's like, what are we today? <laughs> the question I'm asking more or less is, uh, you guys are obviously new on town, but how new are you? And in that, what's your allegiance? Oh. You here to start trouble or stop trouble? Well, not to stop Ooh. trouble. We're gonna have to start some trouble. So <laughs> that's, a, that's a conundrum right there, myself. I'm about to say to end stuff. Sometimes you gotta start stuff. I see. You see the other uh, dudes that he was chilling with, kind of like eyeing you guys, and then you see the person with the large brimmed hat starting to walk out from the shadows you guys see a black leather armor that you very much recognize and then the figure looks up slowly don't worry about them ben they're stronger than you know 
ain't you guys? And you guys look upon the face of Vampire Hunter, Vivica Ironstriker. Her last name hits me funny. She used to be a fucking in the Smith family, of course. Iron Striker. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, wow, if it hasn't been a long time, Vivica. See, I don't know exactly how to work a serious teleporter, which is why I couldn't get exactly to you guys, but I know chilling in a in a Smith, I'd eventually run into you two. At least one of you. So, horny boy, how have you been? Oh, horny boy. Oh, there you go. And wait, you got a new Dragonborn? What's with this? Same Dragonborn, just a little different. You used to be like a cook and shit. What the hell happened? You got serious. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I'm like a gecko lizard. I camouflage with my surroundings. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, me and my party are getting a little bit sick of, uh, you know, hopping from freaking in to in and just like crashing places. You guys got a base of op, right? Kinda. Kinda? Kinda sounds a little less than enthusiastic. It, it's not, it's not a five star resort, that's for sure. Like anything is terrible. down here? Like anything is down here? I mean, this place is freaking, you know, this. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe you being here would cheer up uh, Anubis a little bit. What's wrong with Anubis? He's a little down at the moment, and uh, he's got a lot of, uh, I call it, I guess, voices in his head. Voices. That's great. All right. So right. Then he turns around, looks at the rest, uh, the rest of our party. You see the four individuals approaching, including the Air Genasi from before, Ben, and two others. And uh, as they approach, they're like, all right, so I guess we're following you guys. I don't know where the hell I'm going. What? Somebody leave? No, no. somebody came. Oh, what's that? <laughs> so, uh, all right. So, you guys are headed back to base with them. Is that all good? Is that all copacetic? Yeah, we'll bring them yeah, with us. Yeah. That's fine. All righty. So, I got no. I got no problem. Strays. <laughs> <laughs> so now heading back to uh, back to the tower. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys know when you've uh, traversed into the uh, threshold. Let's go back to uh, Sam for a sec. Sam, uh, you have now, uh, I guess, had your long rest. Um, you still sleeping? You want to get up now? What are you doing? Uh, I guess I wasn't really... I, I guess I was sleeping. I don't know. Uh, I guess is... Uh, <laughs> go to Anubis. Is Anubis still a piece of shit? <laughs> How Crazy, long does it uh, last? Like an hour? Uh, uh, it lasts like yeah. a, like an hour, no. right? Yeah. So he's got a, he's got ten more minutes of shittiness. Hello, everybody. Rio. Hey. Hey. There we go. Uh, what did I miss? <laughs> I'm sorry, I had a family thing, and Psych already knows. Mm -hmm. Uh, what you missed has been a lot of expository stuff. Um, we've uh, they they're finding out a lot of information. Jenkins got a little bit of a memory going on. Uh, mm -hmm. Anubis found out that Lady Atayal is most likely dead, um, and is is now a a uh, crying piece of shit on the floor, quite literally through mm. through yep. <laughs> through literally. alter self through alter self. Gotcha. <laughs> um, is uh are we reaching till the towards the end of the session or? It's starting to get there, yeah. I'm looking to end around 7-ish. Uh, granted, no combat has happened, but I, I don't know that much in the way of that is even going to happen within this session because there's so much that I'm trying to like lay the foundation for. I hope you guys are okay with that, that we have a little downtime yeah. on this one. Because <coughs> what's coming... Okay. Because what's coming is a little cray cray. Right now, you uh, you teleported away um, from the uh, South Streets while they were in uh, uh, yep. while they while they were interrogating the uh, um, fanatic ghosts, and you okay. are, you're currently in the room with Kevin Vass and Jackie, just kind of watching over Jackie and you know helping him, like trying to nurse your friend back to health and shit. Okay. I figured that would be the safest route to go. I hope that's okay. Uh, that's fine. I was going to see if we could do an extra couple of hours with me after the main session here so I can catch up with shit. 
unfortunately today I wouldn't be able to do that. Like I literally right. am working off of like an hour and a half of sleep. <laughs> okay. Eddie, you know yeah, what? You, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a long night. I'm still sort of drunk from all of that. Really? I thought it was just me. <laughs> Well, I guess yesterday was drinking because I was out drinking too. I was having my tequila and uh, fucking drinks all night long. We weren't drinking. It's just like we're just up for wait, just up to like five a.m. We were last dr- night. Uh, yeah, we were drunk on the energy of the like, of the of the irresponsibility. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Such yeah. a good show, okay. <laughs> all right, so now we're back at the tower. Um, Sam, you said that. Uh, what were you doing? I'm so sorry. Oh uh, yeah, uh, I was just uh, approaching Anubis to see if I can kind of get him out of his. Uh... Yeah, he's got like ten more minutes of of being a piece of shit at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> can I like, <laughs> um, I guess <laughs> for fuck's sake, <laughs> I guess can I like like shove him? Can I like shake him or something? Like Anubis, can, can snap, like, out, snap of out of me! Snap I out of this shit! I, I just, a little I, bit on the outside. I just start smacking the shit. <laughs> just, oh. like, <laughs> Cut this shit out, man. You got doodoo on your hands now. It's all doodoo hands. Wait, is, it, is it actual shit, though? Or <laughs> is it like... I don't understand. With Alter Self? Under... Yeah, I believe yeah. so. It's basically... It's real? Yeah. It's an illusion, I believe. Is it? Yeah, it's like... It can't be real. Oh, ah, okay. I like water-based, in a way. Oh, well, alright. Yeah, he... So your hands are really wet. You're getting moisture <laughs> from this shitty shit. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> about shit, man. That shit. <laughs> It's just oh, because you touch your noob's skin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess can I do like uh, I don't know persuasion or something to kind of like snap him out of this or give it a shot. Uh, give it a shot. Yeah. I guess it would be persuasion can against encur- uh, yeah, just general intelligence. Encourage, yeah, kind of in- encourage him to like you know snap out of this whole funk he's in. Intelligence. We've got the funk. Like that. Gotta get yeah, that so funk. You can do general intelligence or insight noob uh, versus his persuasion. When did I get what? Oh Wait. dang! Yeah, nineteen. Come on, noob! Oh, wow! No, he's having his tantrum. <laughs> he beat you I by one. T- oh come on! He beat Shit. you by literally one <laughs> to continue <laughs> to continue his, his his tantrum for the moment. <laughs> uh, that just that 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 just gets me in a tantrum. Like, are you fucking fuck? Come on, Jesus Christ! At fine, this point, fine, at this point, I would say there's about five minutes left in it, and yeah, uh, within that, you know. Jenkins and 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 Iro, you guys now have uh, returned with Vivica and her party. We walk in and say, "Hey, hey, hey guys, um, we, 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 Vivica, we met Vivica the uh, blacksmith." Oh, perfect, Anubis. <laughs> That's uh, maybe that'll. So you guys see as so maybe you guys see as Vivica Iron Striker and her four uh, confidants, so her four individuals, friends, uh, are following behind her. Like, Siri wasn't playing around, huh? She said she had some work to do. <laughs> I see it now. <laughs> this is. Definitely a humble abode. <laughs> it is bound. You're too kind. <laughs> <laughs> too kind. We definitely You're insulting. To, we definitely try to fix up the place as best we possibly can. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna. Uh, what's with the What's with the bear pelt over there? That's. It's got flies all over it. What? Who? Who failed tanning so hard? <laughs> never just... mind. Never mind that. So. <laughs> no, we're not talking about that. Come, come, come this way. I kind of like glide her to the ni- the nicer area. <laughs> like, ah, okay. The, the places that Siri has already been working on, as as yeah, as, yeah. as the other staff. Uh, Siri yeah. Siri is has been working on uh, uh, a lot of the rooms, and you're seeing now the tapestries and stuff. But basically, it's starting to look like what the inside of the Last Hope used to look like in most of these rooms now, as uh, she's doing her you know her magical flare thing. Uh, also, a couple right. of the chambers, like the main chamber, is a lot bigger now than it used to be. You guys visibly were able to like see that as soon as you walked in. That is, it's uh, it's about three times the size of what it uh, appears to be on the outside. Uh, 
all by a uh, series doing, of course. Um, now that they're here, and you're kind of caught up on what's going on, uh, near you've been in conversation with Jackie. So, what what will be the kind of things that you guys have been discussing, if you will? Uh, something, something dark side. Give me something here, DM, because I do not know what okay. Nier would be up to. Okay. Um, basically, I imagine that your concern would be primarily on the fact that he almost died, uh, but you're not privy to the information that was given about the amulet after Anubis cast it identify. He knows exactly how it works now. Yeah, I wasn't given any information. I'm Nier sorry. wasn't given any information, so I don't know what's going on with Jackie yet. All I know is I came back, Jackie got sick or something, and that's pretty much it. He slipped into a coma at this point, and you see the blackness that was on his chest before starting to spread. How did he go back out when I told him not to? He didn't. Like last he didn't. session? He didn't. He stayed there, but he slipped into coma when going to sleep. Remember you told him to rest? Yeah. Kevin hasn't been uh, able to wake him up. Okay, so I gotta go into his mindscape. That's not gonna be fun. That's why <laughs> and that's why Siri is here. Alright. So let's just say um what 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 is Siri again? Siri. Siri's a uh, wizard. Let's just say, let's just say that Siri says you have to go in his mind scheme because he's in a coma or whatever. It's like, okay, I'll say, I'll state that he, how do we do that? <laughs> You're going to, all right, for this, you would need to party because you guys are going to have to journey into his memories and that's. And within journeying into his memories together as a party, you're definitely going to need to do that because you understand that uh, there's a great darkness that has attached itself to him in a sense. Um, hmm. So it depends on how we want to do this. Uh, do you want to talk to the party first and then maybe uh, get some more info on anything that they may have found out? Yeah. Uh, Nier says, um, yeah, let me see what they've been up to since I've been near Jackie all day trying to take care of him or whatever. Okay. And she leaves the room. All right, so you're heading into main chamber with everybody else now. Uh, at this point, Anubis, you are no longer a piece of shit. <laughs> okay, the last couple of seconds and question find out kind of what the situation is because Nier has a strong sense of smell. Maybe she can, kind of like a dog, they can identify, um, you know, like if you're upset or if you're sick or like kind of. Any kind of information we'll do it this way. way. Uh, Nier, as you're walking in, give me a per, uh, perception check at advantage via smell. You're, you're trying, trying to, to open my character this, sheet here. But before, that, but, but before that, Anubis, is this to check whether or not uh, she can tell how you're feeling? Basically. Okay. It'd be more of an insight than because with advantage because of the fact that I'm trying to because I'm sensing because of my canine abilities. Oh, Wouldn't okay. that be more making sense? Yeah, I guess that would make more sense. Yeah, trying to read a person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, pilot shit. <laughs> <laughs> As I'm just Thank God with advantage. <laughs> Why did it not roll? Hold on. Did it roll? Yes, it Is did. I got a 21. Yeah. So it's a success. It, that's a success. So you get the sense that there's great despair and sadness coming from Anubis at this moment. Like he is distraught, more and so the, than you've ever witnessed before. Turn back into male human form or Genasi form. Male Genasi form. Uh, also, um, if you don't mind Anubis, could you give me a quick perception check? You can choose to do this at a, at disadvantage if you'd like to reflect on the fact that you're still like struggling with this but the perception check is to see if you notice the air genasi that's walked into the room so you want to do it the straight roll or you want to do uh depends on how you want to by flavor, they did for, flavor like disadvantage. for flavor you know and you're like are you coming out of it or i would i would definitely i feel like i'd be coming out of it at that point oh okay so yes, as you look around and you see Vi you see Vivica, and uh, behind Vivica you also see another wizard, an Air Genasi. 
I just figured that would like stick out to you. <laughs> so I just wanted to make a big deal of you noticing that, if that's okay. <laughs> what? I dilate. <laughs> Your eyes dilate. What puss and boot style? Just. <gasps> <laughs> 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 And, um, I kind of start crawling over towards the water, uh, air genasi. <laughs> it's still crawling! <laughs> As you're uh, crawling over to the air genasi, you see uh, their eyes. It's weird. You can't tell. Similar to you, male or female dominant, you don't know. It's like uh, fluent, if you will. You know what I mean? <laughs> Uh, and as you're crawling up, you see as they look out, as they look down to you with these uh, in, like incredible, just n almost mystical-looking green eyes, and they smile upon you, and they're <laughs> kind of cocking their head to the side. You don't remember me, do you? It was you. You have a kid. Remember way back when we were kids. And everybody was uh, saying that you were cursed. They were saying, trickster, trickster, you're cursed. Remember what we did? We climbed the fence. We stole that man's egg, his dragon egg, and he didn't know what the heck was going on. That's <laughs> when I first learned how to be invisible. Yep. Have you been Anubis? Kidding. All pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> pun intended, they see. So then they sit down just like right in front of you. I didn't think that I would be able to find you, but apparently this vampire hunter said that they knew you. So I started following her, and now I'm here. And I'm glad to see the proper king is still alive. But what are we, what are we going to do about getting you back home and getting you on the throne where you belong? How did you get here to begin with? Just following her. See, I mean, uh, oh, you mean? Mm. Let's go. Well, she had the means to travel through the, uh, to the Underdark thanks to uh, thanks to Ciri's work. Thing is, though, uh, to get to you where you were originally, I had to make my way over to Dingo Neck. I originally knew that you were headed over to uh, Boiler Bay. That was the last that you had let me know. But when I got there, it was kind of like burnt down I don't know if you know what happened there I just kept walking and then I ended up at the next town dingo next where I found this chick and then you know she was like oh I need a wizard and blah 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 and I was like okay but I I only had my one thing if I wanted to find my friend I needed to find you and uh, what she told me was that she knew you I didn't think it was true I thought she was lying but here, here we are so I'm a little bit more than excited I honestly thought you were gone. One point I thought I was too. Um, yeah, I found these guys. And By the way, their name is Corin. Sorry. Corin. <laughs> Corin, okay. yeah. C O R R I N. Damn, Anubis' old friends coming out and shit. <laughs> We've been having fun, but lately, uh, someone I know, I've told you about it before, uh, Lady Athiel, I just found out. You're betrothed. Down. Yeah, she's been messing. No way. No fucking way, Anubis, I'm so sorry. It's, it's, it's confirmed? Um, not with my own eyes. We're gonna be... Something about that, but. I did not turn off the other thing. Okay, so maybe there's still a chance. Thank you. Maybe she isn't that. On table. Maybe. But. Oh, the source is very convincing. You want to tell me about this source? Meantime. Fair enough. It's been a while. For now, let's just. Catch up, maybe trade some notes, have a couple drinks. That'd be nice. I, I leave with 
for him to go towards getting some drinks. All right, so uh, do you want to stay within base to do that, or you want to go over to a tavern? You want to go to the Broken Top? Um, it doesn't matter the location as long as you can have some alcohol. All right, so uh, I'll, I'll say that you guys are uh, headed over to the bathhouse so that you guys can chill in the bathhouse like you guys used to do way back at home. And uh, you got you, you uh, grab a couple of the drinks from the uh, platter that was brought before to head on down. Uh, you guys see this as, as it's happening, that Anubis is seemingly uh, headed down to connect with uh, uh, this friend. Um, Jenkins, you're approached by Ben. Ben takes his, war ben takes his war hammer off and just into the ground. I see you got one too, from what I've heard. You any good with it? Better than you, old man. You sure about that? Sounds fun to me. Let's say, uh, how about you and I, uh, enjoy a little bit of a training session soon? You know. What do you think? I'd love to test, test you out, see what you got. Mm -hmm. I just give him a, a nice, sincere smile and just lean forward on my hammer and just, I like that. <laughs> he leans forward too. <laughs> Good. Make sure that when we do do this, you hold nothing back. Because I won't be either. <laughs> Haven't had a good fight in a long time. Even Vivica <laughs> is kind of a chump in comparison to what I'm capable of. He then puts his sh hammer up against it, like on his shoulder, like, you know, cocky and shit. And looking over at Vivica, she just flips him off. Nice <laughs> 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 She's like, and then she goes, look, if you want to, if you guys want to do a training session and stuff, I'm going to have to be able to create my, uh, you know, my, uh, danger room, if you will. Thing is, I'm not going to be able to do that right away. So can you hold your horses? Ben's like, I've got all day. <laughs> and then he just goes right to staring at you. It's just like this look of challenge. <laughs> I've nodded off. Oh, wow. <laughs> He, he has just like an old man on his walking stick. <laughs> so he's staring at you as he's as he's looking at you from the seat. This motherfucker. He really all right. I'm gonna do something about that. You gonna take me serious? He gonna <laughs> take me serious, damn it. <laughs> With that, let's move over to uh to Sam. Sam, you are uh, what are you doing right now, actually? Uh, I was, I walked away from, uh, Anubis, and I couldn't, uh, snap him out of stuff, so, um, I guess I'm just chilling. Not really doing much. So you're looking around, and you're seeing uh, everybody interacting and stuff, and then Vivica starts to walk up to you. And she she's kinda, the vampire, right? The vampire hunter. Vampire hunter. Okay. Mm -hmm. she, she's not a vampire herself. No. Not in the slightest. Okay. She's not Blade. <laughs> okay, cool. There's no Daywalker in this. <laughs> okay. So she uh, walks over to you, and uh, she just kind of like stares at you, puzzled for a second. Uh, right. You're a sneaky type, you. huh? A little bit. Yeah. How good at the sneaking are you? Who's asking? Need a favor? Need something stole? Need something stuck around her? Um, if I'm being honest, yeah. I could use something stolen. My sword back, for instance. It's a silvered sword that's blessed, been uh, blessed by many priests and holy water. So anything supernatural it goes up against, it can cut them down. Thing is, on my way here, it kind of got uh, confiscated by the guards. So I imagine it's being held up in the evidence lockup in the Citadel. I've been meaning to put the proper channels in, you know, paperwork and all that to get it back, but they don't like us humans down here too much, you know what I mean? I could make something happen. Yep. There's payment. There's definitely payment in it for you. 
you know. Just name your price. We'll talk after. We'll see how hard the challenge is. Depends how much effort I have to put into it. Once I get it, we'll we'll talk about payment. I hope that uh, you're as good as uh, you're as good at sneaking as you are at looking good. And she gives you a wink and then kind of starts walking off. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Weirdo. <laughs> Iro. Yes. One of the members of the party has had their eyes locked on you this entire time, and they seem to have been intrigued by the uh, statements made by Ben of training, specifically a paladin in this heavy uh like heavy um male armor a lionel and their eyes are trained on you they've said nothing they haven't moved they're just staring at you it was like, it was like hey does your friend over there need his eyes checked or something this lionel by the way is like eight foot tall dude's huge <laughs> So he already t kind of towers me too. <laughs> like, are you... And he's just he's just eyes locked on you from across the room, like you're on the opposite side of the room from where they are, and they're just since they walked in, they're just you know how like when cats see each other, <laughs> that but this line is just just. And he's eight foot tall. This guy stuck like a straight friend because I'm a I'm already like seven foot tall. So here. <laughs> So he's like another foot taller than me. Anything else? You, anything you want to do? Say. No, I'm gonna walk up to him. He's like, "Do you need your eyes checked, or do you have a problem here?" They say you dragonborn are strong, but I've yet to see that proven. I've run into two of your kind in my life. Both of them fell to my claw. Will you be the same? Oh. Somebody wants to start a fight. I got a bone to oh. pick with people like you. You guys always have oh. nefarious purpose behind you. Okay, sounds like you. Sounds like you do have some gripe with me, sir. And uh, how are we gonna how are we gonna put a. a, a... I want to put a. How are we gonna put an end to this gripe, man? Maybe what better? So what are you looking for? Training. We'll see what you got. If you can survive it. Okay. That's what, now, now we definitely got to get this arena going. This is gonna be a pretty uh, crazy, uh, crazy week, crazy day. All right, we got to rush Ben. Where the fuck is Ben at? <laughs> rush Ben? I mean, we got to rush this uh, arena thing. Oh, like, Vivica's going to take a bit with this. Like, it wasn't something that was just easily built when she did it over by, uh, by Dingo Nag. Let's just put that out there. Now, with all of that having transpired, if, unless there's anything else that you would like to discuss with this, Lionel. Uh Oh, okay, I guess. Uh, no, I guess I'm going to find out. Let me get a little background. Like, so I see that you apparently have an issue with Dragonborns. Um, what, did, what did we... Uh, what did a Dragonborn never do to you? The last two Dragonborn that crossed me. They were with me in a party before. We got to a dragon shrine. We were supposed to be slaying a blue dragon. And they turned on us, sided with the dragon. Me and my brothers, we took them all down, but not before they were able to kill my brothers. I was the sole survivor. So ever since then, I've been looking for another one of you, just to prove my point. The lion has always been the king. The dragon is just a fucking chump. Ooh. He's definitely started saying I'm gonna have to, gonna have to show him who's boss. 
and near you're of course yep. witnessing that vivica and her men are here that siri has made the chamber bigger that there's lots of changes about and you see that the rival party seems to be challenging each other i've been gone for a while let me roll something <laughs> so i know for a fact that this is not a brain trick or anything if you would like to i mean go ahead like yeah let I me guess. let me roll uh let me roll something because I when I was gone in prison and I finally come back, I'm still insane still. So I'm like a thousand centuries old more still. So um, well, we don't know about thousand centuries, but dang. <laughs> ah, mother dick. Go ahead. I would say uh, if you remember, I was trapped in that prison. So so how do you want to do this? Uh, you want to do it as a wisdom check to see if. Uh... I think, yeah, that's the way to go. Give me... <laughs> I know you have yeah, wisdom. wisdom. <laughs> I, I, I fucking hate you for it. <laughs> Is it a save or a check? This would be just a check, because it's just checking whether or not you are okay with all the changes that are happening without it, like, making you question shit more. <laughs> question obviously, shit. You're gonna, obviously, you're going to have questions. It's just whether you're aggravated about the questioning that has to happen. <laughs> Uh, that is a 14, my good sir. You're good. You're actually good. You're able to keep yourself under control. You're like, okay, there's a lot of shit happening. You're still obviously wanting to know some stuff, though. And the remaining member of uh, Vivica's band of uh, merry men <laughs> is staring you dead in the face. This weird-looking dwarven dude, short as shit, weird fucking hair these haunches that come like down this way no hair here <laughs> he's got like a, a, a this uh light splint armor on the top these baggy dragon ball looking pants and what seems to be <laughs> what the hell silas <laughs> what seems to be <laughs> <laughs> he got me what seems to be just like leather cloth kind of wrapped around his feet and then like tied not even like uh um oh what's it called anubis why is your cam black by the way uh, anubis they're afk i was eating so. oh oh okay you don't want to eat on cam i get it so yeah they are uh, um and uh they they seem to have on 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 their uh, hands these gauntlets that have like three wrist blades like these, these wrist blades is like three claws coming from each hand and they look up at you Ah, you're the princess, huh? I can't wait to have a little bit of fun with you, bub. I'm pretty sure it's going to be exciting when we get the train. Ain't that right, Miss Technology? What are you, old western? So, the, so Nier looks at the tiny, probably <laughs> four foot two man. Yeah, he's short, he's small. <laughs> And she's like, what, you want to fight me? Because you have to catch me first. Oh, believe me. I got my ways to do that. I'll tell you what. When we train, I land a hit on you, you got to give me a kiss. Big old smoocheroonie. But if I can't land a hit on you, I got to do whatever you say. Deal? I, uh, hold out my hand. <laughs> he kind of, like, reaches up on his tippy toes and still can't reach your hand quite. <laughs> so he jumps. <laughs> I, I grab I grab him, uh, I grab his hand and I put a burn mark on his hand. That's a devil's, that's a devil's dare. Oh. <laughs> you see as he pulls his hand back, not even in pain, just staring at it. Cool. Deal it is, then. Don't make me regret the challenge, though. It'd be a sh real shame if I have to put another rookie down. Mm, you can catch me as her eyes glow yellow now, and she takes off. <laughs> <laughs> I said when we train. He just crosses his arms. I said when we train. Apparently, she makes her own rules. <laughs> just, just like a princess. <laughs> No worry, I'm getting that smooch. <laughs> 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 uh, 
and uh all right so that, that that's how stubborn Nier is though <laughs> <laughs> Nier, Nier's so like, okay. I, imagine, I imagine she's just kind of like flying around the fucking room <laughs> like, for yeah no, higher than he is <laughs> for, for no reason he's just standing there you, you get the sense he's not going to entertain it until it's time you know what i mean yeah right but uh but yeah i guess you still have questions to ask the party so i guess this would be the time to start asking for info for all of you guys to discuss what y'all want to discuss um before that though because the only one that's not in the room let's catch up with anubis and uh and uh, uh corin so anubis yeah. corin uh has been not trying his best not trying their best not to grill you about the uh, you know the source of where you yeah. got the information that has troubled you um but you know it comes up every now and then the questions that they've been asking you have been along the lines of uh, so so how what happened at boiler bay i knew that that's where you said you were going to be headquartered for a bit and when i got there it was destroyed what i don't know i i haven't been given the details on what happened there so uh King's men ended up showing up. King Thornbull's men? The Sun Guard? Yeah. Oh. Swarming around like uh, little ants. And we did some action and they caught wind of us. And I think it, I mean, the rundown of that city is kind of our fault. Wow. <laughs> Indirectly, of course, but. I... <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I'm trying to make excuses, but honestly, <laughs> it is, that is true. That's kind of what happened. <laughs> so you the de you you destroyed the town. I knew you'd be a trickster, obviously, but I didn't know you'd be one of genocide. No, it wasn't. It wasn't me. It was them. My baker, I like to read. The troll. Trying to blame? Who are you trying to blame now? No, the king and his men. Oh, the Sun Guard destroyed their own town? No, they destroyed Boiler Bay. They destroyed Boiler Bay. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Why would King Thornbull attack his own people? Unless... You think he's working with the draw? Obviously, you had your reasons for investigating on that end. Huh. This might be a lot more, a lot deeper than I originally had anticipated. Uh, I guess, Anubis, tell me right now. We in over our head? Even if we are, we don't, uh, really have a choice. I think you're right about that. If Lady Atayel is really gone, that leaves Firefly Grotto in extreme danger. What, what does that mean for the truce? She was your betrothed, and what are we going to do about the king? Because he's not going to give up a seat willingly. We know that. I also might have a little news on that before I left. Last I had checked, uh, he was making a bigger move to take control over things, and uh, he kind of imprisoned your parents. He blamed them for your last arrival there at home. I don't, I don't even recall you having returned, though. Uh, yeah, I uh, practically crossed swords with the king. You, how, what? <laughs> and you I lived? An old friend or a new friend at the same time. They uh, kind of helped me. Out. Is that the 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 weird one that you were talking about that? taught you the trickster stuff? Yeah, I, uh... 
I thought no. he wasn't real. I thought he was. I, I honestly, I literally thought he wasn't real. I thought he was just like in your head, like a figment of your imagination, because I had never seen him. Yeah, I don't know. Taught me a couple extra tricks. I'll have to show you sometime. But really, wow. I'm not crazy after all. <laughs> I should have went with you. I I regret not having left with you. Well, we're here now, though. So that's, that's good. I guess the question now is, what's the next step? I never told you. I, um, I phased. What do you mean you phased? Only Air Genasi can do that. <laughs> Wait. Let me see something. Grab my hand. As you grab Corin's hand, there, uh... Questionably, put my hand up. Okay, as as your hands clasp, you guys are holding like in a uh, in, in like this, you know, the power uh, power grip. You hear Corin's voice in your head. If you truly can phase, let this take you. You feel an energy sur surging through you. Are you gonna accept it? Yeah, I accept that I relax and let it happen. As you do, you open your eyes to find yourself in full air genasi form. You let go of their hand and you still maintain the form. Corin is excited. If you can do this, you may be able to take all of them. <laughs> this is so cool. I think I think I have the answer. I think we know. I just All right. How much do you know how to control what you can do now? Can you go through walls? I tried. I can't remember. I just know I flew up into the air. So you're still not in control of it. But the form is here. I can train you. I'm Air Genasi. I can teach you all the tricks. Teach me something. <laughs> You're the one who taught me, so this is nuts. Wow. I get to teach a novice. All right. Let's start. They stand up in the bath, obviously naked, because <laughs> you both were the whole time in the bath. They stand up like, all right, and uh, start going into the ramblings of, uh, of, of uh, different uh, states of the Air Genasi form. This allows you now the ability to, uh, while in the Air Genasi form, you can activate the Air Genasi form once per day on charge, and you can flip between them, water and air, depending on like what, what it is you're looking for. In Air Genasi form, you gain the power of flight without needing the, uh, um, the uh, Cloak of the Bat, but it works functionally in the same way of Cloak of the Bat as far as speed is concerned. You can now uh, traverse through walls, and uh, in traversing through walls, um, it depends on the thickness of the wall, though. It has to be within the uh, scope of your movement. Let's say uh, your movement is 60 feet, right? I would say maybe like a third of that. No, oh, it's 30 feet, my speed. Thir oh, 30 feet. Okay. So, all right. That means that uh, it would have to be... Uh, the barrier couldn't be more than 25 feet because you need a, a, a five feet ending point for you to be able to get through, if that makes sense. So if the wall is thicker than 35 feet in, in, in thickness, then you wouldn't really be able to tra traverse through it because you'll get stuck in the middle of it. Does it make sense? Yeah. But uh, those two abilities are the ones that you are taught right now in detail as far as your Genasi uh, form is uh, considered. But um, you are let known by Corin that upon... Uh, Upon um, further control, you can achieve also uh, natural invisibility, which you already do with uh, the water form, <laughs> so it's similar. <laughs> so yeah, you got that kind of shit going on right now. You'd be coming the avatar, nah. <laughs> but yeah, so 
<laughs> Long ago. All right, so while you're going through all of that in the training, let's go back upstairs to the uh, main uh, uh, main chambers. Uh, who wants to take over in questioning or whatever the hell right now? Let's, uh, I'll let you guys decide. Question who? Question? Yeah, I wanna, I've been gone for centuries. I want to know what the hell is going on. Yeah, Nier, Nier still hasn't been let known about uh, the things that Anubis told you about the uh, amulet and about the information that you guys uh, were able to procure on uh, what's going on. So if anybody wants to catch Nier up. Right. Uh, Sam will go up to Nier and sort of relay all the information that we found out from Siri uh, about the scroll that we found on the Mind Flayer cultist. Yep. Um, suggesting that the mind flares are messing around with time dilation and some body transference, um, as well as the cracked amulet being involved with something called the what did you call it, side the abyss or the uh, the uh the ether, the ether, correct? Yeah, and that's uh, this is pertinent information for Nier when it comes to his friend, uh, since mm -hmm. I tried the amulet on, uh. And I was able to kind of maintain my consciousness while his friend wasn't. Uh, just relay all that information to him, and uh, yeah. So and as that's, yeah, Siri suggested that I that mind flares from missing time, and so on and so on, and that my watches mm -hmm. could be pertinent to that. And so uh, near size and set and states that oh so they're messing with time not just yeah. that but not just that but now you've been let known that uh the way that the amulet works it actually ties the death knight form to the soul of the individual uh sam was able to reject it by emitting light from himself and it was and that's what like threw him out and cracked the the, the uh the amulet itself yeah, but jackie so that, that didn't happen so now you get the you kind of get an idea of what might be happening. Jackie may be slipping away into the darkness, being consumed, which is why he's okay. He's being consumed by something called the ether. Mm, okay. Well, I've heard of that place before. I've been actually working on a little project. It's back at home, but we need to bring the team together. We have to enter Jackie's mind. Yeah, I know it sounds crazy. I talked to Siri. Yeah, and she as, says as uh, as uh, you talk to um, as you mentioned that you talked to Siri. Siri then like starts to approach. She's like, right, the mind thing. All right, um, that takes a little bit of time as far as ritual is concerned in order to be able to uh, you know, make that happen. Uh, unfortunately, my magic is currently being used to uh, work on the base itself on its protections so it depends on what you guys think is more important at the moment can i just uh can i just borrow just a little bit of a and i just poke her with a needle what did you just what are you doing don't worry i'm just gonna just borrow a little bit of magic from you blood magic. that's all i need <sighs> Fucking... it's not blood magic hmm. you demons sometimes just <clears throat> <laughs> just just continue doing your thing. I just needed a little bit of your time warp magic. That's all. Uh she doesn't have time warp magic. But she does have No, not not you know like what it, you were saying before like getting mind magic or whatever. I thought you said she was knows how to do that. Yeah, it's um it's a, a ritual spell though that she would have to uh, perform. Oh, okay. So Okay, can I just You got a book or anything that I can study or <laughs> books? Let me read more. Plenty. And then she pulls out the exact book needed and then you see that it's a, a book of uh, um incant incantations and rituals for the uh is uh, it's literally titled The Book of uh, uh The Book of uh, Rituals and Incantations for Defense Against the Dark Arts, specifically possession, shit like that. Harry Potter? What, I told, uh, page, I, yes, I what, went JK on a couple things. Shut up. <laughs> what, uh, what page is this so-called, uh, ritual? 
whatever page that you open to. The way the book uh, works, so I just... the way the book works, it will turn right to what it is that you need. But you have to be focused. Otherwise, it's just gonna flip all around. Mm, okay. <laughs> I will just take a look at this in just a bit. Alrighty. Okay. Um, Ira, what are you up to in this during this uh, Shabbat? Well, during this Shabbat, as you put it, um, I, I I'm still actually working on my weapons because um. I need to make sure the engravements are for the 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 the, the glyphs are perfectly okay. Um, okay. on these weapons. Okay, fair enough. Uh, give me a wisdom save. Wisdom save, sure. Oh, don't wanna, where's my? Uh, ooh, dang. Wait, that's not the one I wanted. Is that? Is oh, this one? Be brutal. Ooh. Oh, fucking! Uh, I'm having a bad day today on the rolls. Dang. With that wisdom save, unfortunately, while, uh, you know, trying to tap Kosuth's energy, whatever little bit of energy for the runes that you can, on on uh, the last few that you need for the weapon that you're currently working on, it's just not channeling. You're, you're having more, you feel it flickering. You feel it like it's like, you, you can grip it sometimes, but then it's just gone again. And you're... In this, still listening, trying to see if you can hear the voice of Kosuth, but nothing. Damn it. Uh, a good thing I was working on the short sword. I already finished my uh, my great sword. Holy crap. We I'm the... just putting every one of you through existential crisis today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it was a short sword you were working on? Yeah, my short sword. That's uh, so I guess the, that's fine for so now. The, so the great sword's fully ruined out. The short sword, you're gonna have to do another long rest to attempt. Correct. Unfortunately. Um. Now we move over to Jenkins, who was falling asleep at his hammer, uh, during the challenge of Ben, who was just talking all kinds of mess. Uh, yeah. Jenkins, because you're falling out, I also need a wisdom save from you, please. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it! I thought I was fine. I thought he left me alone. <laughs> Walked into that one. Was it wisdom well, safe? I'm not even to sleep. I'm, I'm yes. doing. I'm changing Iro's design on Gears Ooh. Forge. Oh wow! In this not off, you managed to have pleasant dreams. They're like you know, pleasant memories uh, hitting you. Interestingly enough, though, your body's different in these memories. And it reminds you of a, a time that was calm. You remember standing on a cliffside, looking up, uh, upon this vast forest, and just seeing in yourself infinite possibility, and this peaceful breeze that just gently <sighs> blows past. Damn, this music is going perfect for this. <laughs> and you hear words in dear old dad's voice. I'm sorry, my son. And that is all. <laughs> He's like, it was fine until that. <laughs> yeah. So, with all that having been established, you guys have the uh, rest of the night to you. As the night is now coming to a close, Marin is uh, coming in with uh, many books, manuscripts, just laying them across the table in the central chamber uh, and is uh, looking up at all you guys and it's just like, so the seat on the council it. I got news. You guys have your seat. Thing is, you have to look like council members. Therefore, and they pull out this like crate. <laughs> Take these, and they start like passing out freaking robes, like they're freaking uniforms, and your baseball team, like <laughs> to just throwing all the uniforms at you guys. What is uh, just one black dress, and he's like, oh hell no. 
Yeah, <laughs> because the one that they hand to you specifically is a dress. <laughs> oh hell <laughs> no, Nier says. <laughs> But all of you, are, all of you are, uh, else, uh, you guys are seeing that these, uh, that the robes are these green robes that you guys remember with these all these embroideries all over, and of course the sigil of the citadel on each of them. So now you look to be citadel members. From uh, no. the, uh huh? Can I have one of those classic like just? Moments where you put the shirt on and just flex, and the fucking sleeves rip off. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough, it happens. <laughs> okay, so Marin looks over at you, Jack. And says, I could see Oops. it's probably going to be a little bit of an issue. I don't have a spare, by the way, so uh, I don't know what we're going to do with you now. Um, I give I give Jenkins the drink. <laughs> <laughs> So near <laughs> Jenkins the dress. <laughs> it, it, you see, it's it's the same color, same embroidery, same sigil, but it's literally like a poofy dress with the poofy shoulders and stuff and, and all that. <laughs> yeah, fuck it, I'll put it on. Gave him a moo moo. Gave him a moo moo. He said he'd put it on. Jenkins puts <laughs> Jenkins puts on the dress just to uh you know just to you know mess around and uh, uh imagine Jason Momoa. In a dress, like a big frilly dress. That's that's kind of what's going on here, but with horns. <laughs> he's looking looks, good. Looking positively dashing, actually. How have I suddenly become Lady Beard? <laughs> oh god, oh, I love this party so much. So, all right. Uh, having given, having been given all this information, you see that uh, Marin is now opening a, a bunch of different books and then uh, opens up a, uh, a a map. And rolling up this map is a layout of every chamber in the Citadel. Um, turns over to you, Sam. Uh, you're the sneaky one, right? Yeah, I have some talent in that. All right, so uh, we're going to need to get our hands on as much of the hidden documentation as possible. The hidden documentation are the files that they have on the uh, on uh, all of the ancient Dark Lords, and I feel that that is definitely what we're messing with here if uh, what you said about the ether is true. These have been under heavy lock and key, uh, and the, um, the main chamber that he's pointing to right now... Uh, at, for the city, he's pointing at a specific chamber and then marks it with like a like a, a little bit of ink or whatever, like an X. This chamber here is the main chamber where all of the uh, the historical documents are kept. We're going to need these three in specific, and uh, it's kind of like images like of them and the titles you know given to you. I'll uh, forward that to you later if anything. Um, but beware. It's heavily guarded and heavily trapped. I can keep everything busy during the council meeting with you guys on the seat. You're going to have to slip out at some point and make your way to the chamber. I'm not sure that uh, anyone should go with you unless they are also indeed sneaky because security catches you. That could be all of our heads. Okay. I understand. But uh, these documents are extremely important because they may have information as per the weakness of, uh, of the uh, entities that we may be dealing with here, especially if it's dealing with anything in the ether. And I know that they are hiding this information purposefully. <sighs> Let's just say all the manuscripts were put away after the Battle of Boiler Bay 200 years ago. Marin has this like intense look on, on their face and then looks over at Siri and Siri still gives this kind of distrustful kind of weird just glare at him and then she says as, f as per the traps I might have some things that could help you uh, you're gonna need to be able to sneak around check out these slippers and she uh, hands you these uh, um, the uh, you know the spider slippers that allow you to fucking walk on walls and shit Okay, yeah. I forgot what the fuck it's actually called. Hold on, let me look it up real quick. Sorry about it. 
slippers of spider climbing. There you go. So you now in your inventory have slippers of spider climb uh, of spider climbing. She has handed these to you, and uh, this allows you to Spider Man, Spider Man. But you can do it because you're Sam, and you can. <laughs> <laughs> I love invalid. the idea of the spider slippers just being those really fluffy kind of like one arch sandal type things. Oh yeah, these are like home. <laughs> these are like home slippers that you would expect to have like at the side of your bed, basically. <laughs> <laughs> like old, like old man Professor Farnsworth slippers. Oh my god! So he's got he's got a dress. <laughs> no, who's no? Never mind. That's Sam. I was about to say he's got a dress on and he's got. Oh no 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 yeah, yeah. On. no! <laughs> oh god. <laughs> That would be a that'd be a look right there. Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> so Marin seems to be laying out the plan and the groundwork for everything that you guys are going to need to do as far as the council meeting. And he also then starts to explain what the grounds of the council meeting even is. Uh, he starts explaining in light of the attacks that we have been having, what you saw on Southside, what uh, we saw in uh, 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 Vileham and uh, in all the other provinces where these attacks have been occurring, they're becoming more frequent. So we are trying to see what we can do in the council to bolster our defenses. But there's still the question of Yohara and Gera missing. And I'm not sure what the council wants to do about that. It just seems to me that the head of the council isn't doing enough. It's almost like they don't care. And it's frustrating because people are losing their lives. But uh, I have a plan at hand already with a couple of Vivica's individuals, correct? Vivica turns around, yeah, yeah, I, I got something going on, but I got to get my sword back. I was already talking to Sam about that before we can actually make the move that we need to make. And Marin's like, sword? Yeah, my sword. Remember, it was confiscated on my way in? Ah, right, that thing. Why is it so important? Because it cuts down anything supernatural, you fucking moron. I don't understand why she always has this attitude. Guys, is she always like this? Mm. <laughs> Everybody yeah. shook their head. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Everybody shook their head. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> that was great. <coughs> like, all right, I guess it's just a... It's a good thing she's effective, at least. <laughs> and of course, now uh, Varric hasn't been saying shit. The Minotaur, your Minotaur uh, uh, guy, he's just kind of been sitting there drinking the whole time. And y you see the look of this, like, just distraught emotion on his face. He's like, I. And finally, he f speaks up. I don't think we're gonna make it, guys. I, I think I think we're gonna die. This is fucked. <laughs> Don't, don't, don't doesn't any of you guys feel that this is this is a big minotaur dude fucking saying this to you guys? <laughs> don't you don't any of you feel like this is just kind of fucked? <laughs> Dear, uh, walks over and grabs the minotaur by the horn and drags him out of the room. <laughs> ow, 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 like ow, 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 as you're just yanking him out to the far chamber, yeah, yeah, ow, 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 okay, okay. all right, okay, I, I get it, I, I, ow. I'm, I'm giving, I'm gonna give them, well, you got, well, well, Nier goes and gives the, uh, the Minotaur a mom talk, you guys can go right ahead and do oh, your thing. wow, this is so, <laughs> That's great. So Nier's giving Varric the mom talk. It, it, it is your connect, so it makes sense that you would be the one to handle it, too. Uh, <laughs> let's uh, double back over to the bath, uh, to the uh, bathhouse area, over with uh, Corin and uh, um, Anubis. Anubis, you now have full control over the Air Genasi form that we spoke of before with your powers to be able to traverse through walls. And, uh... And, uh, um... And the uh, ability of flight, a la uh, uh, bat, uh, wings of the bat, cloak of the bat, rather. But um, you know, as a natural form within the uh, Genasi form. Though, like I said, it's a daily thing. You can switch between the two, but you gotta be locked in the form that you choose for the day, kind of thing. You know, similar to prepping your spells before an encounter. So yeah. you you would have to be like, I'm uh, so like I I have these spells prepped, and I take this form, kind of deal. You know what I mean? <laughs> And, uh, I don't wake up particularly windy today. 
<laughs> Corin uh, and Corin looks up at you and just you learn so damn fast. I wish I could do that. You're freaking amazing. Like I've I always knew that you had the potential, but now seeing it actually like unfold is freaking incredible. How do you feel? Kinda oh, I hit it. Go with the flow. I can, I can, uh, I can just glide. Feel like I can glide in the air. Corin, Corin then assumes a female form and approaches you. I can still that you're. I can see that you're still tense, though. We could do what we used oh. to. We could do what we used to to help you out. <laughs> No push. How was that? Just, just if, yeah, if you'd like. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> cool. And you see as Corinne then just like kneels down in the water. <laughs> yeah, is now completely water. sub is completely submerged, and your eyes roll to the back of your head, and we go back to the main chamber. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, I thought no SMR. <laughs> I, I had to throw him something, man. Like, it's been a while since he's gotten any. <laughs> Back over. And then, uh, stuck in the. I'm gonna. That's gonna be my day. I'm gonna be wake up in the next day. Air Force. Ah, okay, cool. All right, so you're prepped for what you want to do for the next one. For Jenkins, you've had all these damn, you know, dreams and shit and whatever the hell. Um, I know that you're, like, probably emotionally, you know, feeling some type of way on certain things. But uh, as you're, you know, in your thoughts, your hammer comes to you. Your hammer is now in your hand, and it's just like, it's not like it's shaking or anything, it's just completely still. Almost as if taking on the same tone of the memory that you just had. And then another memory triggers. The first time that you used your hammer to smite evil. And it was a glorious fucking day that was. You remember your first opponent. This big freaking rock golem you can't you can't destroy me you're not strong enough and you remember pushing as hard as you could and that fatal freaking swing right to the gallop there's face and psh, as it just shattered f under the weight of your power without the explosive rune effect or anything your first fight and then you look over at ben with that memory. <laughs> What's going through your head? Wait, what? <laughs> you remember? Which the... one's Ben? Ben's the big guy that was challenging you before. All right. You have memories of your first fight and how it looked like it was hopeless. Uh, gets a gallop there, a fucking rock golem. You smashed it to bits. <laughs> your very first fight with, the, with that Warhammer. And for some reason, that memory comes up when you're looking at this dude. I don't know. <laughs> What's going uh, I'm just going to live with the, the happy memory for a bit. <laughs> so you see this just like side smirk on, on Jenkins' face, holding his hammer on his shoulder, just like the freaking, just like uh, uh, <laughs> Ben is, and you guys are just like, <laughs> like glance at each other and stare at each other like, mm hmm. You want to... <laughs> there's this there's this sense of a wrestling promo about to happen like <laughs> Iroh, back to you you are um what do you want to do in this situation currently do you want to slip back into meditation in hopes of being able to reach Kosuth to finish the adorning of your short sword or do you wish to attempt that on a later day attempt that on a later day uh Today, right now, I'm just um, getting up, setting everything up, making sure um, that I've, re uh, because I remember 
I remember in my store, in my inventory, and I guess, I guess in my other clothes, um, I guess in my other armor or other satchel, I had a couple of potions that I forgot to actually carry on me. Okay. That I actually, and that I forgot to, that I actually had. I forgot it. I have a potion of four, uh, is this, is this uh, I get res I have a potion that gives you resistance to, to force damage. <laughs> okay. So that I think I got from you, and then it was, and then I I keep forgetting that I had it. I have a potion of healing, of greater healing, that I should really keep on me, just in case. You still have healing uh, abilities as well, though, right? Yes, I still have my healing Cause, abilities. Uh, cause you're, I, you're in paladin, though, not cleric, right? Correct. Uh, I still have both. Yeah, I still have both. We took. Wait, you're a paladin cleric? Yeah, I'm a paladin cleric. What the flip? God, God. <laughs> I forgot God, about God. It. God, God. Yeah. God, God. <laughs> All right. So, uh, you're just so you're kind of just like taking a look at your inventory, making sure that everything's on the up and up inspection, kind of deal, Leo, is what you're saying. Right. And then I, I think I had I had two potions still left in my uh, one. That I bought it was a rare potion that you gave me. Mm. It was one that makes me that doubles my size. Right. Makes yes. me into a giant. Yes, yes, yes. The potion of growth. The potion of uh Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am Never Lord. Used. I am Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> and uh finally, back to Sam. Sam, it looks like you have a lot on your head. You seem to be a key component to everyone's plan right now. How are you feeling? Uh, he overwhelms, taking a few shots from my flask every so often. Uh, it's a quiet the voices in my head that keep pushing and pulling, and I gotta do this, I gotta do that, so I'm just, uh, yeah, just waiting to get going and uh, move on these these requests. Ah, ah, a man of, a man of prep. <laughs> So Sam is Batmaning right now. He's just Batman brooding. Just I have a lot to do. I can do this. <laughs> He's like, are you Christian Bell Batman or or Kevin Conroy Batman though? Like, <laughs> that that's that's the question. Uh, I guess the Robert Pattinson Batman. Robert. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Robert Pattinson. For some, Batman. for some reason, there's like a cathedral art like where I am. For some reason, uh, glass windows and shit arches actually um, yeah that makes sense and you know what that's part of what uh what siri has been doing what you're seeing is uh stained glass depictions of the events that took place at the last hope and how they regained the last hope to this point now it's uh, like, i go through my uh oh, go ahead finish up no no, no go ahead uh i go through my i know they need me to find this these documents in the citadel correct Yes. Uh, I go through my backpack and I find uh, one of the sigils that I took earlier on uh, the week. Very a, good. A, a symbol of one of the um, council members. Yes. Uh, well, I definitely kind of keep that with me. Uh, maybe I don't necessarily have to. I'm definitely going to have to sneak. But uh, this will at least get me through the door with no hassle at all, especially with the robes and clothes that were just uh, given to us. Like mm -hmm. I literally just slap the thing on and, and walk in and kind of get to where I need to go. Absolutely. <laughs> See? It's a good thing you grabbed that before. Yeah, so. I kind of forgot about that, actually. So I just remembered I, I don't have to try too hard to get into the Citadel. Yeah, getting into the Citadel is the easy part. It's the, it's yeah. the, it's the fucking chamber in question. That's going to be the fucking the the ball eater. The, no, that's actually the ship that the Mighty Nine had. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, uh, literally, that's the ship that the Mighty Nine used in in oh god, Critical Role. <laughs> I haven't seen that campaign. So I haven't yeah. seen much of that. That's I the haven't one. I watched that one either. That's the one that I'm watching currently. I'm not even on the current one. Like I'm 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 in, back in the past land somewhere. Yeah. So I mm. skipped that one. And for the uh, final bit of convo, we go over to Nier having the mom conversation with Varric. What are you telling this man? <laughs> 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 uh, 
How could you say that? You know our theme is good. Don't be drunk. You're not. You're not allowed to drink anymore. Bad. You're. You're. You're going. You're going. You're going to your room. <laughs> <laughs> he, he. He. He just gives like this. This sad. Like this sad long minotaur face, and it's just like you're right. You're right. But it's just with all the information that we've gotten, I feel like with everything that we thought we had, it's like we're back at square one. It's scary. Even for me. Yes. I know it's scary, but it's okay. We can, we'll figure this out. And if we don't, there's always plan B. You still have that bomb? I still, yes, I still have that bomb. <sighs> nuke everything. Eat that bomb. <laughs> I say we take off and nuke it from orbit. It's the only way to be sure. Sorry. <laughs> Fuck it. That just immediately <laughs> took me to Alien. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Varric, he uh, seems to be taking your words, you know, and, and he's uh, doesn't seem thoroughly convinced, but he's trusting, at least of you. And then he, he says, he's like, I just... I don't want to see what happened to my family happen to everyone else. Yeah, well, we'll figure this out. I pat him on the shoulder. You can count on me on that. My word is good. I hope so, princess. I dearly hope so. And kind of just walks off into, you know, to his quarters and, you know, Closes the door behind him to... Wait, you forgot your school light? No, Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> what? You forgot what? <laughs> Remember when the kid gets all sad and like, okay, I'm ready for school, I guess. And the kid walks out and shuts the door. And the mom's like, wait, you forgot your school lunch. <laughs> I don't know what that... I don't know that reference. <laughs> you don't know that reference? No. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's from an old TV show. I don't remember what the name of it was, but I... It, because my ADHD, I kind of remember parts of a TV oh, show oh sometimes. Oh my god, I, I know the feeling. Because it'd be hitting me <laughs> too, bro. On that, so... note, on that note, we then have Siri come into the main chamber again. Well, prep's done. So, Viv, it's up to you now. Lay your crystals and the danger room can, can be ready. Good. Show me the room. So... Vivica starts following Siri, and uh, it seems that they're prepping the danger room. And uh, as it is now pushing up on 7 p.m., we will be ending the session here. Unfortunately, I granted, yes, I know, there was no combat here. There was all story and stuff. I apologize mildly for that. But uh, next session, prepare, guys. It is going to be combat heavy as it's training time. You now have a rival party that has been introduced that you will be uh, engaging in training against. I hope you're excited for this. Um, as I've been... Uh, trying to orchestrate this for quite some time but i needed to wait for level 10. <laughs> but uh now that you guys are here in level 10 we have all this exposition having been given um you guys have found out quite a lot lady atayel may have been dispatched of the blade that has done nothing for you anubis seems to be taking more control ever than before you now have a new form and a new f and an old friend has returned you guys now. Have blood, buddy. <laughs> mm -hmm. You now have uh, Siri Albion's help again, within a direct uh, uh, approach, as she is now here in the Underdark with you. Vivica and her men have uh, made it to the Underdark, so you now have your reinforcements starting to be bolstered. Iron, it seems Kosuth has forsaken you so far. And this is a worrisome prospect to you, obviously. Sam, more is weighed on your shoulders now than ever before in this adventure. And Jenkins, so many questions still to be answered. And the lady who you owe a visit. 
and near needs to catch up. <laughs> and near the princess, the one who started the incursion in the underdark, now starting to see just how bloody and how intricate the path weaved before you really is. You all have much to ruminate on. And I hope that uh, this session, for what it is, has been enjoyable for you. I hope you guys think on these elements. And I can't wait to see what happens when we come back next for our next session of Heroes of Solon, where the Danger Room returns and we go into training with the rival party. Grim states. Well, ben states one more time, sorry. <laughs> you guys better hold nothing back as he's holding his hammer out towards you upon the news of the Danger Room being construction. Cause Is he no sitting on a balcony? <laughs> no, no, he's not. He's in the middle of the chamber. Damn, I'm gonna, I'm gonna Spartan <laughs> kick him off. <laughs> he, in the middle of the chamber, pointing his hammer out each and every one of you, except for in the, oh, since, since, you. you're, since you're in the bathhouse getting laid right now. Uh, <laughs> uh, you better hold nothing back, because we won't be. This should be glorious. Ah! <laughs> Tarzan. <laughs> okay, Tarzan, calm down. <laughs> Tarzan, me, Jane. <laughs> ooga, ooga. And on that note, I would like to thank each and every one of you for having joined us here in this stream today of our Heroes of Solon campaign. We stream every Saturday between the hours of uh, 2 and 7. Uh, it seems that it's been uh, late going for us, though. We keep starting at 4. That was my fault for, you know, having stayed up all night having fun. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, how could you, DM? How could you be <laughs> drinking on a on a DM on a GM? <laughs> um, uh, near, we do have to catch up. I uh, can I hit you up Monday? You can hit me up Monday. I believe I am not busy that day. Yes. Excellent, excellent. Cause Sunday I'm indisposed. Uh, I'm gonna be at a, I'm gonna be at church. I'm going to church, guys. Let's see if I burn up. I might burn up. <laughs> it's okay. Who, who who go wait wait church wait a minute <laughs> hold up you're playing D and D that's a sin thing sinner yeah immediately right and I'm a metalhead forget it <laughs> um aside from that you guys know all the deal uh we use Foundry VTT having moved over from Roll Twenty um we're still celebrating the uh short win that we had uh, against watsi but <laughs> let's not bring that stupid shit up uh we also use dnd beyond if anybody is familiar with dnd beyond and what a robust tool it is for your dnd playing and dming uh you know you you already know all about it if you don't you need to be checking out dnd beyond because it actually is a very useful thing and it's not a situation where you have to cancel your sub anymore because we're past that stupid political nonsense so <laughs> that being said check out dnd beyond please check out foundry uh foundry vtt it's way better than roll 20 i i i had to i've been converted it's happened <laughs> i have been converted and i have ryu to thank thank you ryu um and and thank you, Eddie, both of you, because both of you have uh, kind of like, you know, showed me the ropes and stuff. Um, and on that note, I don't have anything else to say. You guys already know about the Wild Spire Miniatures campaign that, he that is Heroes of Solon that we follow very loosely because most of this is homebrew for us as our own campaign. Uh, and we will see you on the next one. Uh, remember, peace, love, roll them dice, and behave yourselves. And stay warm, because damn, it is cold. <laughs> and this is out of the nice. ASM live stream. There you go. <laughs> Even though what we'll just happened right now. <laughs> All right, you guys. Got close. <laughs> so long.